Friday blood again. How is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic Friday chat? My God, how are y'all doing today? It is a fantastic Friday. We're doing reactions today. We're doing a bunch of things today outside of that chat where you're going to be doing an MMA watch party later on as well. My God. Did you feel the earthquake? Yeah, there was an earthquake in New Jersey. Bro, motherfuckers, I mean, maybe, maybe for other people it was crazier. It was not that, it was not that crazy, okay? It was at like 10 a.m. I was getting up and, you know, it was just like a little uh, floor rumbled a little bit. Motherfuckers were acting like it was like, uh, like an earthquake that would shatter buildings. It was just like a little rumble. I haven't felt an earthquake in years. I couldn't tell you the last time that I felt an earthquake. I know there was one in New Jersey years ago. Probably like a decade ago, dude. I was probably like fucking 10, 11. Um, but yeah, no, it wasn't that crazy. Outside of that, though, chat, uh, how are you all doing today? Uh, we're doing a bunch of shit today. We're doing reacts, obviously. It is a react Friday, as per usual. Uh, but outside of that, uh, at 8 p.m. EST, we are going to be starting to watch or we're going to start watching uh, one championship MMA. We are going to be watching nine MMA fights back-to-back uh, -back, uh, through CSN, WCSN, uh, for fucking sponsoring that portion of the stream, not this portion. Uh, I'm going to be on call with JoJo. Uh, we're probably going to be fucking, you know, drinking a little bit, watching the fights. We'll run predictions on the fights as well, uh, so you guys can put channel points on who you think is going to win. Uh, and it'll just be fun, you know? We're gonna be watching pro MMA fights. I believe there is an undefeated world championship, uh, kickboxer. Yeah. Uh, this is the, uh, fight card. There's a lot of bouts today that we're gonna be watching, but that, this is in, like, fucking three, four hours from now. But, um, yeah, there's nine fights, obviously. Not all of them are, um, the same, right? You can, you can tell that we're gonna actually be watching a bunch of different fights, which actually makes it more interesting, like, first one is bantamweight MMA, then we have Mai Tai, we have welterweight, fly, uh, flyweight kickboxing, submission grappling, more Mai Tai, uh, heavyweight MMA, uh, again Mai Tai, uh, and then submission grappling and lightweight kickboxing. Uh, I believe the guy on the left, Reagan Ursel, uh, is uh, undefeated. I think he has like 22 wins in a row. He's the world champion. So we're going to be watching uh, that fight today as well, so that'll be fun. But uh, this might be like an eight-hour fucking stream, okay? Uh, we're going to be doing reacts until 8 p.m. EST, maybe a little bit after that. If I'm a little late, it doesn't really matter if we, like, tune in fucking through the first fight. Uh, but we're going to be running reacts. Uh, I might be live until, like, 1 a.m., uh, which is a dub. Conversely, I have some bad news. I'm so You know, I got to give you guys the good news first. This is going to be a long-ass fucking stream. Now I got to hit you with the bad news. I'm not going to be live tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Tomorrow was already scheduled to be like a two-hour stream, and I was supposed to go live mad early, but chat, listen, bro. Listen. And before motherfuckers start calling me like a part-time streamer or some shit, listen the fuck up. This is about to be like an eight-hour stream today, and I plan this stream to be like fucking six hours, so now I'm going to be live until like fucking 1 a.m. I, I ordered food for this, chat. I'm going to be eating on stream today. I never eat I never eat on stream. I ordered a fucking Italian sub that I'm going to mac on stream, okay? B between reacts and the fucking MMA fight, okay? Tomorrow was already going to be a two-hour stream. I was supposed to be live at noon. If I'm live till 1 a.m., bro, I'm not going to go to bed till fucking 4. There is no shot that I will be fucking on stream tomorrow at 12. Would you rather me be fucking honest with you guys and say, hey, I'm not going to be live at fucking noon tomorrow, uh, or I'm not going to be live tomorrow, or say, oh, yeah, you know, maybe, and then just fucking dip, right? I'm going to tell y'all now, no chance I'm live tomorrow. Zero shot. We'll be live today for a while. Sunday at fucking 2, we're going to be doing reacts. Monday, we actually moved Man of Don to next Monday. We're going to be running this Monday, ready or not, or not ready or not, Rainbow Six, and then more Doki Doki Literature Club because you guys vibed with it last time, and I also thought that, you know, it was getting more interesting in the story. We're going to see some uh, scary shit that starts going up, but we're going to run uh, We're gonna run Rainbow back uh, and Doki Doki on Monday. 
Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing scary games. Thursday is going to be Fortnite and then games with other streamers like Humophobia and scary uh, multiplayer games. Friday's Reacts. Next Saturday, uh, we're going to be doing sim games, maybe some ready or not. So, you know, we'll, we'll just move it to next Saturday. But yeah, sorry about not being live tomorrow, but it was already supposed to be a short stream tomorrow. And now today I am streaming for like eight fucking hours. So I think that makes up for it. And we're going to upload on YouTube tomorrow as well, an extra gaming video. Uh, so, you know, that'll, I'll, I'll upload that around when I was going to go live at like one or two. So you guys could just watch that instead. Nikki and Chemical for the sub Remy for the four. Officially been following for a year. A year, yippee. Don't really chat that much so you don't recognize me. But I watch, uh, your stream whenever I can. You're really sweet and funny. Uh, can't wait to, uh, watch your future stream. Sorry if this is parasocial. You're good. Uh, and thank you for the 400 biddies. Gats for the five gifted. Samuel for the sub. Lila for the three. And thank you for the nice message, Remy. I uh, got my wisdom teeth out yesterday. How are yours? Have you gotten yours out? No, I still have mine in. I, I, I was born without one, but I have all uh, three that I have uh, still in my mouth. I had enough room because I have tiny teeth. Uh, Maxi for the sub. Uh, Lil Pete for the three. What are your thoughts on letting your significant other have the opposite gender friends? Like your boyfriend or girlfriend having guy friends or girlfriends. I think that's okay as long as they haven't been with them previously. Thoughts. Thoughts on that take, chat. I think your significant other can have guy, like, friends that are of your sex or gender as long as they haven't been with them previously, you know? Like, if Brooke has guy friends, I don't give a fuck, right? Like, she has guy friends, right? That doesn't bother me. But if it was, like, somebody she used to talk to, that'd be a whole different story. But I, I don't even think that's just, like, a, a, a gender thing. I think that's literally just, like, you shouldn't be friends with people that you've talked to previously. You know what I mean? Corruption for the sub. Uh, Cheetah for the sub. Gats for the thousand buddies. Naya and uh, TSM for the sub. x for the three. Depressed right now. I've been going. Uh, I've been on to for, like, a month. Has me on DL five hours. Don't even know what you're... Uh, what? The guy I've been on to for, like, a month has me on DL for five hours. I haven't seen him in over a week. Well, I hope you're okay. Gatson's uh, Siddick for the sub. GG Asparagus, definitely Master. Kara, Joe, Rosie for the sub. Floating for the three. Happy Autism Awareness Month to all my fellow autistics in chat. Fun fact of the day, 32. Humans now have a shorter attention span than a goldfish. No shot. So these found the average person's attention span laps, uh, lapses at eight seconds while goldfish uh, lasts nine. Dude, I don't really... You really think the average human's attention span is eight seconds? When I did research, I feel like it was like, I think I read that it was like 45 when it used to be like two minutes. Hamburger and Moth for the sub. It's definitely gone down. Andrea's in Vibe for the sub four for the sub. It's VA for the sub. Uh, Jack for the three. Sorry, I missed uh, yesterday's stream. Don't apologize. K2 for the three. Have you ever tried a whole melt cart? Nope. Don't even know what that is. Insanely for the sub. Love for the three. Dylan, TSM, and Samuel for the sub. Uh, all right, chat. Are we ready to see the fucking reacts we have in store today? Yes or no? Forgot you're low-key old. I said the guy... Bro, do you mean I forgot you're low-key old? I'm 22. I'm still in fucking school. The fuck you mean I'm low-key old? I said the guy I've been talking to for a month has left me on delivered for five, five hours. That's what DL means. We also don't talk much, but I really like him. What do I do? I mean, you could try and see if you could open up a conversation more and and, ha and obviously, like, uh, get closer to them. But, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I wouldn't stress yourself about it to the point where you're feeling depressed. You know what I mean? Princess for the three. Uh, XL for the three. Thank you for helping me study in college. Really had bad scores on exams while not watching you. Now I started studying 20 minutes and watching you. Five minutes in cycle. Almost have straight A's. Duh! Jack for the three. No shot watching my streams helped you get better grades. Be a, a black for the sum. Doesn't DL mean on the down low? Or am I fucking crazy? DL does not mean delivered. That'd be like you saying, yeah, I'll cop an eighth on the DL. Like, that's that's like you saying you'd buy drugs on the down low. Sally and black for the sub. Wiffles for the three. Gonna try and watch the entire eight-hour stream. I got two maths, two mates to both start watching your streams. So they're locking in today. Princess for the three. That's a dub. kids these days nah dead ass though when i was in high school i used to i used to think smh meant so much hate i used to think for the entirety that i was in high school 
Like, and I wasn't in high school that long ago. I was in high school in 2020, bro. Like, I wasn't, like, in high school in the fucking 2010s, man. Like, I thought, I thought SMH meant so much hate. For years. For years, chat. Like, until I started streaming. No, I never used it. But when somebody said SMH, I was like, because if you use it in the same context, it makes sense. It makes sense like that. Frosty for the sub, X offer for the three. We're past that point. It's making me depressed, but he's in my cousin's class. We also X's, who's also in my X's class, but he's perfect, Joe. Ugh. I'm not a relationship guru, loving, okay? I can tell you, hey, maybe try and spark up a conversation. Go on a date with a guy. Outside of that, what the fuck am I going to say? I'm not a... I'm not a fucking matchmaker. I'm not the host of The Bachelorette. Frosty and Jester cannot for the sub. Golden for the three. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Solid for the sub. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you unban my main account? No, but now you just admitted to fucking ban evading, so I'm just going to ban your main or your other account. Um. All right. Chat. First video of the day, not really first video of the day, but um, it's like two minutes. These people describe the taste of foods to the blind. Don't know how this is at all a video. I'm assuming it's going to be a fucking satire, because why would you describe the taste of something to a blind man? That doesn't change that they can still taste things. Anyways, whatever. Um, One of you guys said that in the video suggestion tab. If you have any videos you want me to react to or games you want me to play, exclamation point Discord. Video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. It's high five most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Jester and Canuck for the sub. Next, we have a Darman video. I haven't watched a Darman video in a fucking grip. Greedy dad puts money over daughter. What happens next is shocking. Then we have a Tyler Oliveira video. I investigated the murder capital of the world. Overnight on the world's most haunted island. Stupidly expensive things Elon Musk owns. Hiring actors not to laugh at a comedy show. I have it starting earlier because this first part's like a fucking weird intro slash ad. Uh, why vacations kind of suck a week in the life of the U.S. president. Uh, and then we move on to the fucking MMA fights that we're going to be watching for, like, five hours straight. Uh, Black and FLX for the sub. Uh, TST for the three. Did you feel the earthquake? Yes. Maxi for the three. Thanks for everything you, uh, you've got me through. A bunch of stuff like bullying uh, by making me smile and laugh. Thank you for uh, keeping up the good work. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sorry you had to go through that, man. That fucking sucks. L bullies, dude. Anyways. X11 for the three. God, sorry. And then they put this emoji. I just wanted your advice because you're an adult and I'm 14. But I, again, I forget you're not like a real adult. You're just kind of an adult with a kid brain. Yo, what is what? Why do you got to fucking diss me, though? Like, what is this shit? Like, okay. Yeah. I, oh, oh, my God. Yo, like, yo. I'm Number one. Number one. You saying I'm old is fucking crazy. Like, that's actually fucking crazy. I was in high school fucking four years ago. And I'm still in school. I'm an adult with a kid brain. I would say I'm a new, newly young adult. You're acting like I got, like, life experience of a fucking 35-year-old union man. And now because of you, I'm cracking a fucking surf side early. Now because of you, I'm cracking a fucking surf side early. I bought these for today, by the way. And you know what else I got? Screwball. Gonna be sipping on that. I got a little snack corner for the MMA fights, you know? When we transition to the MMA fights, I'll tell everybody to go get their, go get their snacks, right? Because we're gonna be locked in. 22's kind of old. Bro, what the fuck? Who, what do you think your parents are? Fucking decrepit? Oh my god. 22's old, bro. I'm in college. X11 for the three. Just messing love your streams, but you're still not like a real adult. Yeah, because I'm 22. I'm not a fucking real adult. Yeah, I don't even know how to pay it. I don't know how a mortgage works. I don't know what my fucking credit score is. <laughs> Devil for the three. Uh, do people use brooms in America? Yeah, but not, I mean, like, chat. How often have you used a broom? I'll use a vacuum. Who stunk for the three? It's my girlfriend's birthday today. Happy birthday to your girlfriend. Can you say happy birthday to her? Her name's Jenna. Happy birthday, Jenna. All right. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Also, 
when we're done reacts and we're transitioning into the MMA, remind me to post on YouTube. Got to post on YouTube today, doing an extra upload for you guys tomorrow because I'm not going to be live. Sunday, we're also uploading. Got to remind me, though, because I don't want to post at 1 a.m., so we're going to post while I'm streaming. But everybody better not fucking watch it until, they're, until I'm done this fucking stream. I swear to God. I swear to God, if I fucking, if I post that fucking YouTube video and everybody dips to go fucking watch it, I'm going to be pissed. Because we're watching MMA fights today, okay? I bought a fucking Italian hoagie for this fucking stream, chat. Yunjin's for the three. They're just mad they can't buy alcohol yet. Well, I mean, if they're in the UK, I don't know. what What is the drinking age in the UK? I don't know, dude. Fucking toddlers drink in the UK. Calm down before you break a hip. Yo, that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. 18? No, it is not 18. I thought it was like 16 or like 15, dude. Or is that Italy? In, I know in Italy, it's like kids drink wine or some shit. Anyways, lock in. These people describe the taste of foods to the blind, and it's beautiful. <laughs> people describe the taste of food to the blind. It's delicious. The taste is... Uh, I don't know where to start. I I guess it tastes strawberry-y. <laughs> I guess it tastes strawberry-y. I, I don't know. This is really hard. <laughs> I'd say the taste is very sweet and just the slightest bit tart. I don't know. It just tastes like a strawberry. <laughs> when you eat a strawberry... Yo, I know this is satire, but do you think... How... How many out of ten random people on the side of the road? How many do you think you could convince that blind people can't taste food? I think I could convince four of them. Four random people in like New York City. I think I could convince that blind people can't taste food. Even though that is so like outlandish, none of them, dude. Dude. Like maybe okay, maybe two. Maybe two or three. And I would, if I'm allowed to pick the people, if I'm allowed to, like, walk around and choose who I want to try and convince. Oh, if I'm allowed to choose who I can convince, I think I, I think I got a seven. Seven out of ten. I think I got a 70% 70, 70 success rate. Hey, did you know blind people can't, uh, can't taste food? Really? Really? Somebody said profiling? Yeah, I'm just going to choose old people. I'm just going to choose really old people. Because I think old people, you could you could convince them that. Like, grandma age. Like, 80. Like, just like an old man. Being like, oh, you remember, you remember when, you remember when blind people couldn't, couldn't taste anymore? And he'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. I was back in my day. I used to go roller skating. Oh, that's cool, grandma. It's like a breeze is blowing. It's like a summer breeze when you're standing in a meadow or on top of a grassy hill. It's a happy taste. <laughs> Eggplant Parmesan. Oh. So good. It's an explosion of flavor. It's a festival. The tangy sauce, the warm melted cheese. It's so rich. It fills you up. The more you eat of it, the fuller you get. After you've had enough eggplant Parmesan, you start to feel full in your stomach. It's a good feeling. It's a feeling of satisfaction. When you first get full, you could eat more, but you don't need to. It's pleasant. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh my god, are they ever gonna say, hey dude, I can taste shit? Blue waves. Ice cream is like the taste version of the color blue. Ice cream, <laughs> Ice cream is like the taste version of the color blue. <laughs> <laughs> seduces you so smooth and creamy but if you have too much at once you get brain freeze i hate brain freeze that searing pain right in your temples brain freeze is like a jagged spike that splits the mind open brain freeze is awful i wouldn't wish it on anyone thank you thank you thank you thank you how do you describe a color to a blind person? 
Like somebody that's been blind at birth, you can't. Like it's literally, it's the same. It's just, it's something they've never perceived. So it's impossible that like you, I know everybody's always like, oh, red is warm, blue is cold. But that means fucking nothing to somebody that's never seen anything. To try and say, oh, b being blind is so sad. Yeah. being Dude, I would so much rather be deaf than blind. If I had to choose one, I mean, both are awful, right? But, I mean, not being able to see the world is so, oh, like a sunset, dude, and shit like that. Or just, like, like, I feel like there's not, like, if you're deaf, it sucks that you can't see, you can't hear music. I mean, you could feel vibrations, I guess, but, like, you can't hear music, you can't fucking uh, hear, like, your loved one's voices or your family or friend's voices. You can't even hear your own voice, but it's, like, Dude, being blind, like, you just remove yourself from, like, basically every experience. Movies on mute? Yeah, movies on mute. But when you're blind, you can only hear movies. I would rather read subtitles than not, not see the movie. That bitch got so much going on, but she still want to be racist. What are you saying? <laughs> Jojo, what are you talking about? What? Helen Keller? Helen Keller was racist? How are you racist when you're blind? You don't even know what race you are. Didn't Dave Chappelle do a skit on that where he was he played like a blind black guy and he hated black people and nobody ever told him that he was black? How she got all that going on and she's racist. Bro, how did she learn how to fucking do anything? I think about that all the fucking time. I think about that more than the Roman Empire. How did Helen Keller learn how to do anything? If you're blind and deaf at birth, like, I already, I know everybody used to say, oh, they did the water on her hand. And I've, like, looked into it on how they tried to, like, teach her how to do things. But it's, like, just, I, I could under, you could, you could reasonably teach them, like, okay, put food in their hand. They have to eat this. But it's, like, how do you learn how to fucking communicate? She's not real? Bro, she's real. She was, she wasn't born blind and deaf. I thought she was. Was Helen Keller born blind and deaf? Stop. We're going to be on this for 10 hours. This is going to be the same thing about the illiteracy rate in the United States. JoJo. JoJo, while you're here, man, did you know 21% of the United States is at least partially or fully illiterate? They can't fucking read. She lost her sight and hearing after a bout of illness when she was 19 months old. Chat, y'all, oh, she wasn't born blind and deaf. You're acting like she went blind and deaf when she was, like, 22. Bruh, she's fucking 19 months old, a year and seven months. You don't, you don't know shit. You ain't, what the fuck you know when you're a year and seven months old? You don't know how to fucking read or write or talk. I grew up in the deep south where a lot of my friends and their family couldn't read. Bro, how do you, JoJo, JoJo. If you're a grown ass man, like say you're 45 and you can't read, how do you live? How are you paying your taxes? That's just immediately what I'm going to. How am I, how do I know if you get a letter in the mail? Uh, me don't know. And then you throw it to the fucking side. You have an accountant. You're going to, oh, how are you going to find your accountant? You're going to Google accountants? Oh, you can't Google though. Because you don't know how to fucking read. A lot of people grew up around, didn't see the point in reading. Google Translate. Bro, I don't get, I, I don't want to get on this topic again. I don't want to, I'll be here for an hour and a half. We're not going to get through the reactions if we get on the, how, how, how 21% of the United States can't read. I think it's 18 million people can't read at all. I think everybody else is, like, under a third grade reading level. But under a third grade reading level, you could still read, like, road signs and, like, understand basic shit. I'm dyslexic. 
That doesn't mean you're illiterate. Oh my god, some fucking dickhead brought this up last time. Being dyslexic doesn't mean you can't read, bro. That means you mess up. Oh my fucking god. Oh my, I'm not getting into this. I'm not getting, I can't. I don't have the mental capacity to do this. Dude, being dyslexic, being dyslexic doesn't mean you can't read. Being illiterate means you don't understand English. In the written form. Or whatever language you speak. But in the United States, it would primarily be English. My dad's dyslexic. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I, like, I, 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 I'm saying your dad's not illiterate, though. Your dad m might mess up certain letters and mix them up. And it might be hard for him to read. I have, like, four friends that are dyslexic. They're not illiterate, though. They still know how to read. It just takes them longer. What is dyslexia? Usually, I mean, there's different types of dyslexia, if I'm, if I'm correct, uh, in, like, how bad it is. But most people that are dyslexic that I know mess up, uh, like, certain letters. Like, B or D. Like, they might invert them in their mind. And so when they're reading certain sentences that have letters that they are harder to understand, um, like you, it, it just messes up the words, right? So it's harder for you to read. I can't type. Well, that's a different fucking, that's a different thing. Okay. Hudson for the three. I didn't essay do last night. wasn't going to finish it, so I AI'd it, and now I'm scared I'm going to get expelled. Did you reread the AI, or did you just fucking put that bitch in a chat GPT and hit submit? Like, did you fucking tweak it at all? Peppa for the sub, Pappy for the two subs, Shoes on for the three, Helen Keller's a myth, Orange, uh, Lime, and Raw for the sub, Mr. Oh Yeah for the three. My mom's been blind since I turned three. I love her to death, and she just flew to Iran this morning by herself to see her sisters. Wow. Ruity for the sub. I feel like being blind would just be so scary. Like, just not knowing where you are. I mean, you get really good at, like, the awareness with, like, hearing and if you have a walking stick. But I'm like, oh, my God. Excel for the three. When I was 10, we drank Tafy beer, translated table beer in the school cafeteria. It was 2 to 3%. We can drink normal 6 to 12% beer from 16 years old. You were drinking beer at lunch when you were 10 and then went back to class? Brayden for the three. Have you ever thought about doing a charity stream for police officers slash first responders? For sure. Uh, I mean, we have the WWF one after that, or the next Friday, but after that, I mean, I'm open to schedule a different one. Got my bacon-flavored sunflower seeds, took a 60-milligram edible. Bacon-flavored sunflower seeds sound fucking horrific. I'm, if, I'm, if I'm being real, anything that's bacon-flavored that isn't bacon sucks ass. I, I'm, I'm, I, and I stand by that. I have never had a bacon-flavored thing that wasn't bacon that tasted good. Some for the sub gats for the three. Got the Gravity Falls tattoo on my arm before I even knew you were a streamer. I thought it was crazy when I found out you streamed and you had it too. Dope. You have the question mark too? Key for the sub. Mine's a little bit tweaked, but it's basically the Gravity Falls one. Key for the sub. Excellent for the three. I'm 14 in Ireland. I'm going to get locked on Sunday, and you're waiting till you're 21 to drink. Loki and L. Tonble for the sub. Well, most Americans don't wait until they're 21 to drink, but you're supposed to. Yanjin for the three. Bosa for the sub, raccoon for the three. All right, lock the fuck in here. I turned 18 in two weeks to illegally drink time because I'm Dutch. Papa for the sub. All right, lock in. Lock in. Have you talked about the earthquake? Yeah, it was a little rumble. Uh, greedy dad puts money over daughter. What happens next is shocking. Lock the fuck in here, chat. Miss Sophie, would you like to buy a cookie? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Uh, how much are they? Oh, a dollar fifty each. A dollar fifty each. Bitch, I could get a whole sleeve of Chips Ahoy cookies for like three bucks. Did you make these? Yep. Um, my dad helped me. Oh. Oh, honey, your nose. Here. Holly, what's going on? What happened? She just got a nosebleed. I can walk her over to the nurse's office. It's nothing. She gets them all the time. Are you sure? Yeah. She's a sensitive kid, that's all. She'll be all right. Okay. How do you not notice that your nose is bleeding? I feel like I know my nose is bleeding, but it hasn't even exited my nose yet. Like, you feel the blood dripping out of your nose. Thanks for the cookie, Holly. Feel better. You ready to go, sweetheart? I have to swing by my office for a bit. I have a Wait. Cousin. 
It just stopped you, bleeding that quick. You promised me you would take me to the mall to buy me a new OMG doll. I know, I know, but... Uh, I know, honey, just order it on Amazon. Holy fucking shit, we live in 2024. Who the hell goes to a mall? What do you, what do you want to go see there? The fucking mall security guard and the fucking local homeless guy? Oh my god. I got called in for a meeting at the last minute, so you can do your homework there and then I'll take you. But you're always working. How do you think I could afford all those dolls, huh? Now come on, pack up and let's go. Were you selling these for a dollar? Yo, on God, I didn't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything, but I I know I made that joke initially, bro. A dollar a cookie? You're making no money. You're making no bread. That's some brokey energy up to prices, buddy. What are those profit margins? What are those profit margins? I was making a damn joke, but I feel like if I was selling fucking home-baked goods, you gotta be at least selling them bitches for like three dollars. Three dollars a thick cookie. That makes sense. Fifty cents. What the fuck? How? What do we talk about? You need to increase your profit margins if you want to be successful. But it's Facts. Christmas. Everyone should be able to have their cookies. Oh, then why don't you just give them out? Why don't you just give them out then? Why are they buying them? Why are they buying them, huh? That sounds like a shitty business mentality. Oh, everybody should be able to have one. Uh, just fucking give them away then, huh? No. No, you should be marking up prices as much as you can. Money makes the world go round. Yeah, people get desperate during the holidays. They haven't bought they haven't bought goods for their family, right? That's when that's when the grocery store bumps up the prices and everybody's eating fucking cold canned fucking turkey for fucking dinner. She's not about her money, dude, exactly. But don't her money spreads looking mad weak. She's standing there, she's sitting there for an hour, probably made what, 10 bucks? Of that, what, she had to invest $5? People matter more than money, Dad. Not when it comes to business, sweetheart. Business, you need to be a shark. Now, come on. Pack up and let's go. Let me know if you need anything else, kiddo. Thanks, Regina. Well, folks, looks like we're projecting record profits oh, this year. Going to your dad's business meeting? Oh, that sounds like the most boring shit ever. Oh my God, I just asked to stay home. Oh, you got to sit there. Oh, our Q4 is looking pretty good. Our profits are pretty high. We got to start. Oh, fuck off. I'd fall asleep. I'd start fucking snoring. I could profit this year going into Q4. But with the economy going down and to keep our board happy, well, we got to tighten our belt a little bit. And uh, that means we're going to have to lay off 25% of our staff. Doesn't that look bad? For the company to lay off that many people when profits are up, especially during the holiday season. We're business. We're not charity. You know, besides, I think that's a PR department problem. And that's assuming they have their job at the beginning of the year. <laughs> that is right, uh, CEO or whoever you are. Those peasants, those pe sitting in, you're sitting in there with in your head, being like, "Oh my God, am I gonna be the one that's fired?" <laughs> Good joke. You are very comical. You know, I always liked you the most out of every one of my coworkers. Okay. Sorry, bosses. Okay. Anyone else? They got any good Please don't fire me. Ideas as to how we can continue to, uh, you know, raise our margins. We could cut benefits. Okay, that's a good idea. Why don't we just start paying them like $5 an hour under the table so we don't have to report um, their income and then they don't pay taxes. So they actually take a higher takeaway, but then we actually pay them less than minimum wage and therefore they're working illegally for us. Like how they do in a lot of farms. Anybody else? What about uh, raising drug prices? Lexamide just got FDA approval to go to market. The cancer drug? Yeah. But we produce it for about $195 per dose or $780 for- Yo, okay, that's the most fucked shit ever, though. Motherfuckers that up the price of certain medicines. Who was that one guy that upped the price of, like, insulin or some shit by, like, fucking tenfold? That's fucked. To sit there- Like, you up in the price of Advil- like, whatever, right? Like, you fucking up the price of Advil. If you're gonna up the price of, like, a fucking 
rare, di like, a medicine that treats a rare disease that already costs, like, $100, or, like, EpiPens. I know EpiPens are expensive as shit for people that go into anaphylaxis. For the full recommended course, but comparable drugs are on the market for a full course or $50,000. But the company's mission was to provide more affordable and accessible health care. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have a take here. And this might be a wild take that would never occur. I don't think that businesses, private businesses, should be able to sell fucking medicine. And you could say, oh, that's a uh, uh, sissy liberal Joe. Dude, why, why are we having profit margins on things that are required for, like, people to survive? Like, I understand more, like, food and water and stuff like that. But if it's, like, fucking cancer... Like, I mean, that's the United States at the end of the day. Like, cancer treatment shit. Like, I know a lot of countries have just way better healthcare and a lot of shit's covered for them. Here, bro, sorry, you got diagnosed with a disease. Looks like you're gonna go fucking bankrupt and you're gonna die in five years. Have fun. But don't forget, patients won't have to pay the full cost. Insurance will. Still, raising drug prices does seem a little greedy. And then your insurance costs just go up. ANOTHER THING! WHY AM I PAYING A MIDDLEMAN TO INSURE ME? WHY ARE THERE PRIVATIZED COMPANIES THAT I'M- THAT ARE pro WHAT THE FUCK? You say greedy? I say that's genius. You know, the more we make, the merrier, right? I tell you, it's thinking like that that keeps Dan my number one. In the back of his head, he's like, fuck yes. I'm not getting fucking fired. Once the MMA fights, 8 p.m. Hey, EST. Hey, you did a great job in there. You keep that up, I see a promotion coming up in the future. <laughs> all right, honey, you ready to go? Why would you do that? Do what? Fire all these people. Shh, oh, keep your voice down. Look, like I said before. Look, honey, they're peasants. They're like fucking gremlins. They're borderline human. They're wages. Okay? They make fucking $10 an hour. What is... What, what are they gonna buy? Right? What are they gonna buy with that? Nothing. Oh my god. A new fucking DLC for a shitty video game that they fucking suck at anyways? Come on. In business, you need to be a shark. This is just the cost of that. What if people can't afford these prices to these cancer drugs? That's not something for you to worry about, okay? Then they die, honey! It's as simple as that! Holy shit! That's how the world goes round! You ever figure that out? Come on, you're smart! Come on! They can't afford it! They die! Okay? If someone gets sick, it'll be covered. Look, companies like mine do this stuff all the time. Because Money is a priority. Got it. Hey, you're my priority, no matter what. Money comes second. Always. Okay? Now, come on. Let's go get- Yo, imagine she got cancer and that was the plot twist. Yo, th I don't think Darman would go that dirty. I don't think Darman would go that dirty. She gets cancer, and now the drugs that she needs cost so much. You that doll. Oh my god, that's why she has nosebleeds! Oh my god, they are gonna go there! Holy shit, they're gonna give her, like, a fucking, a, a fucking disease. There's <laughs> some shit. Oh my god, she's gonna fucking die. No way. No that didn't take long. No hey. Yeah, that guy's on something. No Just standing there. Dude looks like he's at a rave. Hey. He doesn't look like he's angrily protesting. Isn't that your office? Those people look really upset. Don't worry about that. It's just a bunch of people that have nothing better to do than whine all day. Come on. Yo, those dolls are fucking terrifying. You're telling me people want to buy those? The soulless eyes on that fucking thing? Whine all day. Come on. That is terrifying. 
Like, imagine falling asleep in the same room as one of those things. I think that shit would wake up and just start stabbing you like Chucky. Hey, ho. General for the three. Off topic, my high school does senior assassin, and I won my teammate. I won with my teammate. We split 5K, and I'm putting it on black. You won five grand? Intro for the sub moth for the thousand but bitties. My mom died, so my dad was alone raising me. I had to go to the office with him a lot. Ripping the chat for um your dad. I'm sorry that uh or not your dad, your mom. Um I'm sorry that you and your dad had to go through that. Very boring, but at least I was with him, you know? No, I understand it in that way, you know? Like if you like have to stay with him because you're too young to stay home alone. But I'm saying if you're at the age where it's like, okay, you could just chill at at home, that I feel like that'd be better. Just for the five. It's my three year anniversary. Got my new phone. Forgot to log in my old account. I've been able to watch streams. Have my job now. You helped me with suicide and mental health back in 2022. I'd watch your VODs when I was living with my grandma and struggling. Hearing you respond a bit to those or reaching out to people with similar situations helped me so much. Dub. Dude, I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, and I hope you're fucking doing better mentally now. Burger for the three. Nine horses in my room biting my finger. Luke for the five. Want to say you helped me through high school and it was my BD on Sunday. Happy late birthday. ZN now for the sub. Tesco's uh, raccoon for the sub. Poppy for the three. Been watching on YouTube. Decided to watch uh, on Twitch for the first time. Dub. ZNO for the sub. Dingo and Bosa for the sub. Raccoon for the three. Uh, and I read the other one. Vec for the sub. X11 for the three. She talking about giving for Christmas when she low key looking like the Grinch. Mister for the sub. Zachary for the five. Looking like a cutie patootie. Have a, rest a good rest of your day. Thank you. Oh, I got to take this. Go ahead and uh, pick out whatever doll you want. Mike. Hey. Yo, am I crazy or are kids' toys today? Just mad fucking stupid. I remember, I mean, maybe it's just like I view them now and I'm like, this is dumb as shit. But I remember being a kid and walking into the Nerf aisle of Toys R Us and borderline shitting myself. Being like, yo, this is the coolest shit ever. I wish I could own all of these. Like, that would be a dream for me. I remember being like 10 years old. And if I was 10 and you gave me like $1,000, first thing I was doing is going to the Nerf aisle. Nerf aisle, I'm buying the biggest fucking cool Nerf gun they have. And I'm just going to fucking use that for, like, days on end. Hey, Dan. I'm here with the C-suite. And I want you to know that we're going through the new projections that we just got from finance. And it's because of you and your suggestion to raise those drug prices... That uh, we're gonna hit a new record. Great job, Dan. I can finally get that Porsche I've always wanted. Anything to help the company, sir? Yeah, well, we just popped some champagne, and I want you in my office tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. Cause I want to 9 a.m. sharp, and they're drinking the night before? What the fuck? That shit is whack. Hold on. All right, lock back in. Talk to you. I want to talk to you about that holiday bonus. I tell you, Dan, you're going to be a happy man. It's great to hear. Listen, I saw some of the news coverage on the protests and... Uh, hey, don't worry about that, Dan. You just worry about yourself. You worry about this company. And if you keep this up, I can see you driving into the sunset with that new Porsche that you want. All right? So listen, I'll see you here tomorrow. You about ready, Holly? Holly? She's about... Well, I was literally gonna say she's about to be passed out on the ground. Holly! Holly! Please, help! Help! Holly! Holly! Help somebody! Somebody help me! I think my daughter died! Help! Help! What is that weak-ass scream, bro? Your daughter's on the ground dead, and you're telling me you're gonna... Help! Somebody help me! Bitch. Angel for the seven. I'm being so serious, my man cheated on me with my mom. What? X11 for the three. I had a load of Princess Legos, and when I was like six, my mom loaded them into bags, called me too fat, and gave it away. Wow. Gave all away? She gave them all away? How is that possible? She's 10. She's healthy. She doesn't even have any symptoms. If I may ask, 
Have you noticed you've been bruising more easily? No. Any uh, red spots on your skin? No, nothing like that. Any nosebleeds? I mean, maybe once in a blue moon? Actually... Once in a blue moon, like five times a day. I've been getting them every week. If you weren't working so much, you would know that. I am so sorry, sweetheart. I should have taken it more seriously. Well, there's good news. We caught it early enough where the treatment should work. In fact, there's a new medication on the market. Huh. Lexamide. Is it his? Isn't that the drug your company makes? I should warn you, it's not cheap. They just raised their prices by a lot. I, uh, actually work for the company, so uh, I can get it for free. We just have to do whatever it takes. Yo, to imagine they ain't gonna give it to him for free. Nah, they can say you gotta pay like everybody else. That's just like five thousand dollars a pill. And make sure my baby girl's okay. Okay, for today's visit, your total is. Yo, the boss goes. Oh, your daughter has cancer. Uh, I think you're gonna have too much on your hands, man. I think we gotta let you go. I think you're not gonna be, uh, you know, locked in enough for us. Don't know if you're going to be able to, you know, be here enough. It's fine. Just put it all on my card. Okay. What, what do you mean insurance won't cover it? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Leximide falls outside of your policy, so it's considered an out-of-pocket cost. But it's $50,000. 50 grand? What is it? The fucking, what is it? A magical elixir? $50,000? It's the price of a fucking car. What for one for one but for like a dose? Where's where am I supposed to find that kind of money? <sighs> um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, AG. Figure it out. Ah. Not sure. <laughs> You're still here. Jeez. Oh my god. Maybe try some holistic stuff. Maybe go talk to a fucking guru. I don't know. They have herbal tea. You could try that. Maybe that'll fucking help sure what to tell you i can speak to someone about a payment plan or if there's loans oh so i don't know the best thing i need is more debt uh maybe sell crack on the streets i don't know you're a pretty young mom i mean i don't know you could start a drug ring of some sorts do something fuck things are stressful enough sell your it? kidney i what the fuck yes. um well, uh, you can speak to your doctor about alternative treatments. There are no alternatives. We tried chemo, radiation. This is the only thing left. This is the last thing that might save my daughter's life. Please, please. <laughs> Her panning to the fucking receptionist lady, though. Nah, this is actually crazy. I would also be upset. She's asking, like, a random woman... That has nothing to do with the insurance companies or the fucking medicine makers. She's just asking this random desk lady to please give, just, just to work your magic, you know? Please, please do some work my magic. But lady, I got this job a week ago. <laughs> Honey, go, go have a seat right there for me, okay? Okay. Honey, honey, go have a seat over there. <laughs> she leans into the woman. Lady, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna fucking wring your neck if you don't give me that fucking medicine. I will fucking find you. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 something very bad's gonna happen if you don't give me that fucking medicine. She's like, she's like, ma'am, ma'am, I can't, ma'am, I can't do anything. What am I gonna do? I, ma'am, I don't have any connection. You're gonna figure it the fuck out, okay? Let me ask you something. Are you a parent? Oh my god. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. <clears throat> okay, well, imagine yourself in my situation. Bro, what is she gonna do, bro? What is she gonna do, though? Fuck. Front desk lady, yeah, let me ring up the old insurance company that's worth a billion dollars. Hey, I got a woman on the line here. Like, what the fuck? With your child's life on the line. And the only thing that might save your daughter's life you can't afford to buy. The 
exactly how would that make you feel? No more green! 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 Wasn't he in the fucking... Wasn't this guy at the desk? Did he got he got fired? You want me to do? Look, I know it's a big ask, but raising drug prices as much as we did was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. I never seen the board happier. But the decisions we make here affect real people. There was a woman and her daughter at the hospital. But he said not all black people look alike. Bro, it's the same person. Bro, it's the same person. Bro, it's the same person. That's crazy. I'm gonna ban your dumb ass. That's crazy how I'm going to ban your dumb ass. Yeah, that's actually fucking wild. It's literally the same person. That guy. That guy. Same dude. But same dude. Literally same dude. Same beard. Same haircut. No more green. The same guy. Same fucking dude. That's so crazy. No. It's not our problem if they get sick. In fact, the sicker they get, it helps our bottom he line. He said, I'm joking. I now I'm know what Alex was out. talking now about during our meeting. For that shit. Our business is supposed to help people. Our uh, Sonny, you're starting to sound like a fucking liberal. You're starting to sound like you got fucking soft hands, pal. You're telling me, you're telling me you want to lower the price. Dude, our margins are through the fucking roof. Our business is to make money. That's why I hired you. You're a shark, Dan. It's eat or be eaten. Sharks don't swim around worrying about the opinions of the fish that they eat. But that's the point. Patients are not fish. They're people. Real people. All right, Dan, where's this coming from? You didn't have a problem taking- Come on, Dan, half of them don't even know how to fucking read. Did you see the statistic? 21% of American adults can't read. Come on, Dan. What the fuck? Oh, my God. It's like, uh, I'm sitting here. I just watched The Matrix. Dude, I think we're in the fucking Matrix. Oh, my God. Might as well take advantage of the fucking situation. Stop with the reading thing. I can't. During the last meeting, I uh found out some news. And let's just say things have changed. I've changed. I'll just say your daughter has cancer. Changed. So please, lower prices again. It may even turn out to be good for business when people realize how much we care about our customers and their concerns. We have a chance to do the right thing. Let's not miss it. It still ain't gonna be cheap, though. Like, they raised the prices, but they didn't raise them from, like, $5 to fifty grand. They probably raised it from like 5k to 50k. Like that's even then that's probably unrealistic. It was still probably like 10k. They make it 49 49999999 $49, $49, God, what a bargain. <gasps> you got me a new OMG dog? Mhm. Mm Thanks, Dad. Wait, how'd you have the time to get this? Weren't you at work all day? No, uh... I got fired. I stood up for what was right. Um, they didn't give me the free medicine. And now we're homeless. You're gonna die and I'm gonna live on the side of the road. So, you know... That's how, that how, that's how it is sometimes, you know, I guess. Uh, I didn't go in today because I quit. Oh, what? God. So how are we going to get my medicine now? Hey, don't worry about that. I got plenty of savings. I thought you liked your job. I did, but I didn't like the person I was becoming by being there. Don't worry, honey. I have a foolproof plan. I'm going to go to the casino and I'm going to play $50,000 a hand. Okay, and every time, every time I lose, I'm just gonna double it, right? I have five hundred thousand to invest. Surely it doesn't go wrong. A very smart girl reminded me that people matter more than money. Once I remembered that, 
I decided to leave. Okay, so what are you gonna do now? What I should have been doing all along. <laughs> you do not just start up a fucking pharmaceutical company that easily. Pharmaceutical companies are billion dollar companies. This man quit the day before. And he already has all of the fuck. He has the buildings ready. He has the manufacturers. He's the connections. I mean, what the fuck? The next day, he already has a working, g growing business. <laughs> you go to eight years of schooling. That's to be a pharmacist. If he's a pharmaceutical company, he doesn't. He could just be a businessman. <laughs> Yeah, that's my guttural reaction when somebody shows me a fucking 400-page business plan. So I can't wait to not read that. Many things calling me this way and that Telling me who I should or shouldn't be Like it's all a part of some big play called having emotions somebody in my chat said bro that's your that's your emotional reaction when you're typing on your computer when you're when you're doing your nine to five stressing especially when they're growing a business fucking panicking about all this shit they're just sitting there happily fucking working 50k to 1,200, that's like actually fucking crazy. $39, get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, that's actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. 50 grand. They're selling them for 50 grand a pop, and you're telling me they were making them for less than, th less than 39. 50 to 1,200 to 39. Or 1,200 to 39? What are those profit margins? What the fuck is that? I don't even think Apple has profit margins that good. That's like Apple? Dude, no. Apple Apple makes an iPhone for like, what? Two, three hundred bucks? How much, how much does it cost Apple to make an iPhone? 423. And they sell it for like a thousand. Easily for the sub streamer for the three. First time uh, donating. Love the videos. I need help. My girlfriend said she would dump me if I don't get her an expensive gift. Break up with her. Corrupted for the three. Uh, did the earthquake wake you up too? Uh, well, I mean, I was awake, but yeah, I I, I felt it. Faded for the sub. X11 for the three. She said you're too fucking fat to fit into jeans, then gave away 2K of priceless Legos. $2,000. My grandma died yesterday. Rip in the chat. My mom is very depressed. She mentioned suicide. Can't tell anybody she's in a custody battle with my dad. So if the judge find out, I'll never see her again. Well, um, I would say to your mom and be very fucking blunt that she's going to need to get help or you're going to do that, right? You're going to have to give her an ultimatum. I would say your mom matter. Your mom's life matters more than whether or not she gets custody of you. So I would say, hey, you know, if you're going to fucking threaten suicide, you're either going to go to therapy and get help or I'm going to put you in a fucking 5150 hold or whatever it's called and then you're going to fucking lose me. So I would say your mom, care about your mom, right? Sit down, have a genuine conversation with her. Ask something for the three. Suicide is never the answer. I would say make sure that you're there for her, but outside of that, tell her she needs to get help. Easily for the sub. Now, for the guy that said your girlfriend said you need to get her an expensive gift or she'll break up with you, like that's fucking whack. I could understand her saying, you have to get me a gift for Valentine's. Like, that'd be, like, a normal thing to say. But if she's like, you have to get me an expensive gift, I'd be like, what?
how the hell are they selling pills for $39 and their uh, their profit margins are up 500%? My, that's my doctor's reaction after he gives me a prostate exam. In slow mo, just I have that. I have this nice, like, non copyright fucking Disney music playing in the background. Sounds like the fucking Jonas Brothers. Hey, okay there, pal. Where is he? Oh, Mr. Gorovich, Dan's in the conference room. But you'll need an appointment if you wanna... Oh. I try to stop him. What do you think you're doing? Ah, Mike. I swear to God, if this random woman just started working for them, like she happens to have the qualifications to work for a pharmaceutical company. I wasn't expecting you. Holly's Hope, trying to acquire Zyrtex pharmaceutical are you out of your mind you think your little startup here is going to come up against my company you got something else not out of my mind just it's been one year and they've already accrued enough capital to buy another pharmaceutical company to do better that's all and it's working this little startup has generated more revenue in q1 than zyrtex ever did and according to your last shareholder meeting company is projected to continue taking massive losses throughout the next few years looks like all that bad publicity caught up to you who is this uh i have a voice i'm i don't think it's bad publicity i think it's the fact that they were selling fucking pills for 50 grand lauren head of patient advocacy and most importantly a parent of a survivor just like me when I started the company, I asked her to come on because we both believe that people matter more than money. And that strategy paid off big time. You think you're gonna pull this off? You are gonna put me out of a job? You said it yourself. I'm a shark and sharks eat small fish. But this time, you're the fish. This man's eyes are so fucking blue. That was a good video. 69 and easily for the sub. Next. New Tyler Oliveira video. I investigated the murder capital of the world. This is Jamaica, the murder capital of the world. That's a big old knife. Have you ever had to use it on anyone? That's also just extremely unsafe that he has a loose knife just hugging the, the side of his skin. Like a sharp fucking knife just sitting big in his knife. underwear. Have you ever had to like use he it? could fuck, if he tripped, he would stab himself. Done anyone? Mm, no. It's gonna take him to. Oh! Okay, got it. I'm going to pluck it to everything. The country is at a level three, just below the do not travel alert. The State Department says Jamaica's homicide rate. Dude, I literally was where Tyler was standing like three years ago. I've been right there in Jamaica. Jamaica's homicide rate. When I went there too, they told me don't leave the resort. I was like, why? And then I, I swear to God, they were like, it's not going to go well. I was like, oh, okay. Never left is one of the highest in the western one of my friends was like dude let's go to a club i was like bro i'm 19 i'm not going to jamaican club after they told us to not leave the resort i'll die atmosphere those boys on the road is yeah, there is fish he's not a fish a shark yeah yeah are you a killer yeah we rock too. Jamaica consistently ranks number one or number two in murders per capita year over year. But why are people killing each other so often? I met up with local YouTuber Jamaica Walkby to go to Trenchtown, a neighborhood famous for being the home of reggae legends like Bob Marley and for being extremely dangerous. Question for you. We noticed a lot of um, flags on the walls. Is there like political friction out here? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Things get crazy out here sometimes? Yeah. 
It's the crime and violence. Sometimes we just need that for stop. Just the crime and violence. Okay, just that. You see bit people get killed? Yeah, but it's happening everywhere, right? Is it dangerous out here? Well, nowhere is safe, to be honest. Yes, it gets dangerous at times. Do people shoot each other? Yeah. Would you believe me if I said But Jamaica it's fucked because it paints a bad picture on Jamaica. And, like, Jamaica, when I went, like, I know I went to a resort, but, like, dude, the people there, even outside of the resort, were fucking so nice, right? Like, obviously, yeah, wherever you go, there's going to be people that suck. But, like, dude, it, like, it's a fucking good country. It's just, it has its problems. Jamaica's the murder capital of the world? Yes. Yeah? What do you mean by nowhere is safe? Like, everywhere there is violence. Even overseas as well. Would you believe me if I said Jamaica was number one or number two murder capital of the world? No. Uh, does it get dangerous out here at night? Sometimes. Gangs? Yeah, call it that. People get killed out here? Yeah, man, all the while. <laughs> yeah? Why is that? Uh, people love party. What's your least favorite part about Jamaica? Uh, crime. What types of crime? Crime. Anos crime, crime, crime. I just feel like the living conditions look pretty bad. I mean, like, this is literally just a concrete fucking square. Like, there, I, it doesn't even look like there's walls or anything here. I mean, crime. inside it might be different, but, like, this just looked bad. Murder. And then I saw this dude. Like, when we, when we had to go, when you land in the airport, the airport's usually pretty far from wherever you're staying if you go to Jamaica as a tourist. And so you have to take, like, a long ride there. And you'll see, like, a bunch of the homes and shit that you pass. And a lot of them are, like, run down, man. Like, that, like very, very run down homes. But people still live there. Rolling up. That's a gate, I think. A spliff. I mean, but you're just looking, like, if you look around, you can tell that a lot of it's, like, patchwork, too. And it's just a lot of cinder block type stuff. Who claim to know everyone out here. Hey there. Mexico's pretty similar. Mexico, I never actually saw, um... I don't know. Mexico, when I went to Mexico, it was way different. Just because they had mass highways there, where at, whereas when I was in Jamaica, like, we would ride through this road. Like, we would go down this road, whereas in Mexico, you're just on a fucking highway. What have you been up to today? Rolling up a spliff? Yeah, I know. I'm going over the farm. The farm? The farm, the farm. That is a farm. Right over there. Yeah, we can go over there. Come. This guy's ripped. My guide was nowhere in sight. I first thought I was setting myself up to get robbed. But it turns out, this guy was giving me a full tour of the community with unexpected hospitality. All right, we're visiting the garden right now. A little baby young mango. Is this where you make the juice? Yes. Thank you, thank you. That's some nice juice right there. You could come to the farm, chill out, have a good time. Maybe we don't want to sleep on the road. You got a cowboy, so but you could sleep. I really want Tyler to go to a country that has, like, unsafe tap water and to just, like, unknowingly drink, like, two water bottles full. And then just jump cut to him just fucking sitting, breathing, <laughs> breathing in that shit. Just, if you drink, for those of you that don't know, if you drink, like, other countries' tap water that you're not used to, a lot of the time, it can, like, fuck you up on the inside. Like, you'll just be shitting and throwing up for, like, four days. Wow. Sit up in. You're a psycho? I'm not a psycho. I, I mean, that would be good content for him if he was just, like, you're watching, like, two minutes in. Him just drink like a water bottle that like somebody gave him that was like filled with tap water and then like jump to the end of the video and he's just on the toilet. So even I could come in here and say, hey, I got nowhere to stay. You see? And like slowly throughout the video, like an hour later, he's like, oh, my stomach's starting to hurt a little bit. And he just like glances by it. And then like four hours after that, he's like, dude, I'm starting to fuck. I feel like I'm in pain. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. He comes out and then it's like they keep coming incrementally more and more. Push back. Ganja, whoa! Green. I didn't even notice it, we got the weed. Two little pigs. While this community was seemingly fully self-sufficient, I wanted to hear about the reality of some of the problems they actually faced. What have you seen out here? Well, we're seeing um, a lot of people dying by guns. That is the most violence we are seeing right now, and it is very disturbing. It's not healthy for the community, it's not healthy for visitors. Yes, I heard they are swapping um, animals for guns. I'm not sure, but that is what I hear. How is it out here in Trenchtown? Well, Trenchtown is full of crime and violence going on. It's been a long, long time now till my child come and get involved by crossfire. He's now shot and can't walk of a spinal damage. Oh, wow. Shot in the crossfire? Yes. So he was just minding his own business and he got hit with a stray bullet? He went to the shop coming back and the drive-by stopped going to the shooting. Oh. Is he involved? Jamaican accents are so cool. Jamaicans do have good accents. 
I wouldn't really know what constitutes a bad accent, though. No. They just like random. Like, I've never heard an accent and been like, what's a bad accent? I remember one time I heard this Canadian person act all badass and they talked like they were like a thug. And it it was just like <laughs> How do Canadian dude, I gotta Google that. I it was like Canadian it was like a Canadian speaking, but in like a way where they were like, Oh fuck you up, yeah. But it was like it was like in the friendly Canadian accent. It just did not sound real. Canadian Hold up, let me try and find it. Good idea, that guy's a beauty over. For a scalp, you feel me? Eyes your beak like you're too annoying. A <laughs> <laughs> scalp, you feel me? Eyes your beak like you're too annoying. Wagwan, what's up? Um, Buck T, you feel me? Like a homeless person lurking around. Um, you got balling up rules. The spliff is Aita, don't even pass it to me. And that means there's no grab on this. Oh my god, I don't know. It just sounds, it just sounds, it, it just doesn't sound real. You're too annoying to me. Like you're too annoying. Wagwan, what's up? Um, Buck T, you feel me? Like a homeless person. I'm not trying to diss Canadian accents, by the way. I've just never heard someone talk with like these terminologies with a Canadian accent. It just doesn't sound real. He's 10 years old? Oh, is it just one of these things I hear where snap of a finger, everything changes? That's not a Canadian. That is a Canadian person. Someone's unlucky. That's what it is. He's so bad. Hevo said Irish accents are best. Buddy, you're just Irish, so you're saying that. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, the Philly, Jersey, New, New York accent's the best, because it's fucking not. The coolest accents I know, Australian. Jamaican. I'll give it Irish. I'll give Irish top three. I'll give Irish top three. German. I'm th I'm saying accents in the the sense that there's they speak. In, in, in English like a, it, it, they're speaking English but they have an accent in English like if you're saying oh a German person speaking English Russian I was just not walking right now yeah. because the damage what's something you wish you could change that's a tragic story I'm sorry to hear I could change the crime and violence because it's a community for tourism and a lot of things a lot of talented people come from here live here yeah. brilliant children the thing is just different now and it wasn't like this before as you can see it is like it's a cemetery right here the, the entire community, the whole entire place is trench stone. And I would like to sing a song for my trench stone. All right, let's hear it. I want leave the issue on the tissue. Flush it in the toilet. I war them a deal with say me can't take that. War them a deal with say me can't take that. Hey, gunshot a beat man a get down flat. The baby pan the best of them no response for that. Dude, I also just fuck with reggae music so much. I mean, that also might be just because I get high all the time, but I mean, dude, like, oh my god, reggae music is so far, and now I gotta play some reggae songs. Fuck! Now I gotta play some reggae songs. Oh, uh, favorite one recently. I mean, I'm still going. I'm still going. Mm, I don't know if I'm going ganja smuggling. I mean, favorite all time. Favorite all time reggae song for me is probably Kingston Town. Hold up. Dude, the beat is just so good. For this. Dude, it's just nonstop. Oh my god, yo, I don't think I've ever heard a reggae song that I didn't like. Like, um, if I, 
I mean, maybe that's just because I'm listening to a lot of popular reggae songs, but I've never heard a reggae song be like, that shit's trash. After hearing her musical plea to end violence, it's just catchy. The village doctor pulled up to sell me a magical concoction to give me boners. Stiff wood, no yes. conscience? <laughs> Is this to get boners? Yeah. Whoa. So you drink this, you get a boner? Yeah. I have to buy the juice. Oh, no, it's a six. Yeah, it's six, six drive. Oh, yeah, of course. So, of course. That is Rude Boys, though. I had a Rude Boy once. When I was in St. Martin, I had a Rude Boy. They have they have Rude Boy drinks. And they have, like, what do they have in them? Horny goat weed. Horny goat weed. That's a supplement. That's the name of the supplement is horny goat weed. I drank one of these before. Because they're, like, pretty alcoholic, too, like 7%. Wasn't that good, if I'm being real. Uh, really sweet. But it was like, meh. Kind of mid. Of course, make your wood get well out. <laughs> 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 strange? No, I do. I mean, it was. it's called a rude boy. They talk about rude boys. Or they talk about rude boys just in people, but also the drink. <laughs> no, you can't. I want to it. <laughs> Did it work? That's not why I drank it, bro. Base Saul Goodman for the 20 gifted subs. Dub in the fucking chat. Thank them if you get a sub. Thank you for the fucking 20 gifted. Base Saul Goodman, you fucking go. Ultimate for the sub. You're ready for the three. X up for the three. Irish. Uh, Taleg accent so bad. Charlie for the five. Any advice on how to deal with grief? I teach Brazilian jiu-jitsu. One of my five-year-old students just passed away. Rip in the chat. I'm sorry to hear that. I have no idea what to do. I mean, grieve, like, grieving is just time at the end of the day. I mean, you could do things to kind of, like, keep your mind at ease or distracted, hang out with friends, focus on yourself, you know, keep yourself busy. But outside of that, there's not much you can do. Uh, Yuri for the three, code for the ten. Been loving the VOD channel. I could tune in. Thanks, Joe. It's Statue for the three. Is that the place you went with the guy selling drugs on the border of the resort? Jamaica? Yeah. Curious and 69 for the sub. Easily for the sub. Baseball Goodman, thank you for the 20 gifts again and Chase for the sub. Yeah, no. There in, in Jamaica in resorts, there's uh there's guys on kayaks and on like there's like fences that block off the resort. And then there would be guys on kayaks, like a certain out like certain amount out in the water, and they would be like they would scream you down the like, yo and they would get you to come down. And then they would ask uh if you wanted to buy like um drugs, right? Usually they would try to sell you weed. But there was one guy that had, like, everything. He opened his backpack up, and he had, like, fucking weed, ecstasy, coke, trooms, LSD. He had, like, every fucking drug you could think of. Base Saul Goodman again. Thank you for the fucking subs. I don't even know how many that was. Thank you for the hundred gifted Base Saul Goodman, you fucking goat. Dub in the fucking chat for that shit. Base Saul Goodman, one, two, three, four. Thank you for the fucking subs. That just filled my fucking mini feed. Baseball Goodman, you fucking menace, man. Oh my god. 1,259 subs of the channel total. What is up, bro? Thank you for the fucking subs. Floating for the three. Australian accents are so bad. JP for the three. Burn one by fortunate youth. Chase for the sub. Bro, Baseball Goodman, thank you for the fucking hundred subs, dude. Oh my god, bro. Hold up. Let me play the song real quick. I've heard that song. I feel like I've heard a lot of reggae songs. I mean, the beats are really similar, but, I mean, the words are usually different. Extreme for the sub. Dude, bass, thank you for the fucking gifteds, man. We've talked to a lot of the local... Holy shit, bro. Like, that's actually fucking wild. Who's your drug dealer? I don't have a drug dealer. Uh, weed's legal in New Jersey. We met this entire self-sufficient community. We're in the ghetto, but everyone's super nice. How you doing? Four for the five. Uh, what would you think if Tyler covered your home? When he covered mine, it felt pretty unfair as I've walked the same streets my entire life. What do you mean covered your home? What? What are you doing? You smoking a spliff? Are you planning on doing a special stream for 420? I'm probably planning on just rolling a joint, getting high, playing games. Nothing that crazy. I'm fast forwarding through this.
studio in Jamaica. How are you doing? I'm good. The insulated, acoustically optimized sound booth in here. It's moments like these when I realize people are mostly the same all across the world and are generally all pursuing ways of increasing their quality of life, surviving, and coping through trauma. It's Monday, man, Madan. No, today is reacts and MMA fights at eight. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not live. Sunday, I'm doing reacts at 2. Monday is going to be Rainbow Six and Doki Doki. We moved Man of Madonna next Monday. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, Scary Games. Thursday's Fortnite and games with other streamers like Hoophobia and Scary Games. Friday's reacts next Saturday. is going to be Ready or Not and probably a bunch of Sim games because uh, we were supposed to do that tomorrow, but now I'm not live. And next Sunday is going to be reacts. Black for the 3. I hope you're doing well. Base for the sub and Chase for the 3. Various hardships. Everything was done inside. Who's fighting tonight? Uh, these are the bouts. Uh, it's not, uh, UFC. It's, uh, one championship. It's a bunch of different, uh, types of, uh, martial arts. Some are kickboxing, like the kickboxing, grappling. You have Muay Thai, uh, he heavyweight MMA, submission, grappling, welterweight MMA, bantamweight, kickboxing. It's usually, it's kickboxing, grappling, and MMA. And Muay Thai. KMG for the sub. Are you charge for studio time too when people come in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's smart. <laughs> you can find us on YouTube, Instagram, anything, Spotify, just type in Ingenious Brings. Wow, so much talent out here. After hearing about the good, bad, and ugly of Trenchtown, I headed to Spanish Town. Sections of Spanish Town in St. Catherine remained tense after gunmen went on a deadly shooting rampage in the market district. Three persons, two of whom are said to be affiliated with gangs in the parish, were killed. A city with a reputation as perhaps the most dangerous city in Jamaica and often considered a no-go zone to outsiders. So we decided to go there to see how it earned it. Oh, no going to outsiders. So we decide to fucking pull up and see what's up at uh, Spanish Town, you know? A bunch of people die there all the time. Yeah, let's just pull up, right? Oh, they're known to kill outside. Oh, yeah, let's just go there. It's reputation and if it's still held true. Uh, we made it to Spanish Town. This is the quote-unquote no-go zone, so they say. But here we are. How are you doing? Got any thoughts on Spanish Town? It's a very dangerous place. Is it? Yeah, yeah. For reals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you lying to me? I'm not lying. Okay, in what ways is it dangerous? I cannot explain. What do you mean? It's private. It's confidential. We do just fucking actually just rob him here? It's dangerous. Oh, really? How? No. What do you mean? Take his fucking hat. It's rumors. Rumors? Yeah, yeah. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe. Stay in school. Same to you. You think I'll survive? No. Actually? Yes. Is it white? No! So you think we should actually watch our backs out here? Yeah. What would they do? Stab us? Take the camera? Everything I can think of. How is Spanish style? Uh, time bomb. Time bomb? Yep. What does that mean? Like... <laughs> Bro, the fact that they don't want to talk to him is a sign to get the fuck out of there, Tyler. Have you heard gunshots out here? <laughs> yeah. You think we'll die today? No, not today. Not today? Not today. Today's a good thing. This is what you're talking about. Keep on, there's bullet holes on that thing. We just saw a beryllium truck. That's the equivalent of one of the trucks in the U.S. that carries the cash, which yeah. means that someone's probably planning to steal from it right now. All right. I hear this place is dangerous. Is that true or no? No. Yeah, yeah. No? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes. Who's doing the craziness out here? Uh, uh, <laughs> the people with the guns. Come on in. This is where the products are made. Feel safe out here? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What are your thoughts on the police? I mean, you see, you see, you see Jamaica situation, right? Um, come about from the independence movements from Britain. Jamaica gained independence 1962 from Britain. But with that, it, it, it came with a, a lot of um, difficulties because of the constitution. But my parents, they didn't have the, the choice to make um, their decision what type of constitution they wanted, right? The constitution did not have much in it to, to support the, the development of the Jamaican people. And so, you know, I can't tell you much, but I can say, for example, they gave the, the, the Constitution, the Prime Minister, too much power. In that sense, we can't have a democratic um, Jamaica. All right. Thank you, Prince. That was very well put. With many confirming the danger. Yeah, that's actually, like, wild. Did he just talk to a random guy and he knew that? Like, I feel like if you walked up to, like, an average American, you're like, tell me about the history of the United States. Uh, well, we, okay, well, there were British people, and we were British, and then we weren't, and then, then we had a civil war, and then we didn't, and then we kicked a bunch of people off their land and stole their shit, and then we fought Mexico and took their shit, too, um, and then... And then we started fighting people that were communists. Um, 
and then fought people that we thought were gonna be communists. And then, uh, yeah, now we're about here. KM for the three. Helps me take my mind off my dad. He's been struggling with cancer. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Mr. Raymond and KMG for the sub. Dangerous reputation out here. Others were hesitant to acknowledge its reality. You white man? Hi there. I am white. How do you like Spanish town? Spanish town, good man. Do you think tourists are afraid to come here to Spanish? Oh, you forgot 9/11. Yeah, 9/11 happened, and then we used it as a means to start a war with an entire country, take all their oil, kill a bunch of people, only to effectively stop uh, the guy years later. Uh, and then continue to occupy and use that uh, terrain to make money. No, 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 not anymore. Spanish town, not bad. Yeah, all the while, Mr. Dem. It's the last time you've heard a gunshot. Long time you know you're not gunshot. Okay. Do you think you guys are the murder capital of the world? No, 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 no. Do you think that's a lie? No. That's a lie. Somebody said, I honestly think the USA did 9-11. I don't know if I think the USA did 9-11. I, I think it actually happened, uh, obviously. Uh, but I'm saying... I don't know. I don't know whether or not the USA you the USA definitely used 9/11 as a means to go into the Middle East without a fucking doubt. Whether or not they planned it, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Bye. They are all right. No. Somebody said Hamas peoples did, bro. What? It was Al Qaeda. I banned you, bro. Like, I, I don't actually, I, I don't know if that's a ban. I don't know if that's a ban. That's just stupid, dude. That's actually just you being a fucking idiot, man. It was Al-Qaeda. And then there was ISIS after Al-Qaeda, but that was a whole different thing. Hamas. That had nothing to do with fucking 9-11. There's nothing going on, no. But Spanish Town is known for violence. You understand? But we can't continue to judge the past with the present every time here in spanish town we are hustling for our money not like in america where you have a million homeless people sleeping in the street i haven't seen that. anyone pass out on drugs out here america they're everywhere people just on drugs <laughs> yeah. on the streets yeah why why is there none of that here we don't we don't tolerate drugs here in america you pay people to get high you pay people to stay on on um drugs that say oh they are depressed and you pay them to stay depressed. What do you dislike about Jamaica? Dislike? What is there to dislike? Uh, well, it constantly goes between number one and number two as the murder capital of the world. Man for dead for make man live, brother. Yeah. Man for dead for make man live. What you say? What? Man for dead for make man live. That's, this, that's your, your struggle. That's your struggle. What you think? Why are people murdering each other? The only thing you see the murder here in Jamaica is because it's per capita. In America, you guys kill more people than what we kill here in Jamaica. Don't ask about the murder rate. You know that is true. About the murder rate in, in America. And when black people died in America, you guys do not step up to the plate for us. Well, that's not true. It is true. There was a whole riot in the United no, States across it, every major city when no, George Floyd died. When we die there, nobody speak on us. I disagree. We have to be honest here. We're talking per capita versus just overall. I think people speak up for it. I just think that little gets done when people speak up. I think the average person does speak up about those issues. I think the government doesn't really do anything about it. The United States has over 100 times more people. Uh -huh. Per capita, people are killing each other more often here. No. That's true, though. No. That's facts. No. That's statistics. No. You hear what you come up with? Joyce Floyd. What about the guys that they're finding in the gutter? What about the 100 women that they're finding queens behind the building? This is a conversation over now in a pop the door. Okay, thanks for chatting. That actually is a great point, though. We've seen very little hard drugs out here, if any at all. But the murder stats here speak for themselves. Sometimes it's kind of hard to wonder if the facts are true, you know what I mean? Because some people, sometimes you wonder if people just come up with the numbers That's and just true. put it out there. And as we walked through an alley, we stumbled upon a group of houses that had recently burned down. Wow. wow. You guys at home? Yeah, and roughly. When did this fire happen? Last week, last week when? What is the plan to get a new home? We've been working with the government, but the government's going to do. Was it a power line that hit? No. A liquid and sound man was cooking uh, right bad electric. Right there, sir. Okay. If anyone wants to donate, yes, we'll take anything. Anything at all. We don't, we don't anything. We're just grateful for you can give us. If anyone reaches out and has something to offer, 
Yo, yes. hit them back up. 876 879 5046. That's your phone number? Yes, that's my phone number. Well, I hope for the best here. Thank you so much. As night approached, we made our way out of Spanish Town and through. Dude, that's awful having their whole home. And that looked like multiple homes. That didn't look like one home because they're so close to each other. Hold up, let me go where they're talking to somebody else. Like here. Chat, I gotta fucking piss real quick. Count me down 30 seconds, bro. We're back! Yeah, man to man in Jamaica, it's illegal. Okay. So if you're caught having sex with another guy, you can get jail, jail time. But we do have a lot of- Being gay is illegal in Jamaica? Gay men here, just like anywhere else. Being gay in Jamaica is illegal if you're caught in the act. Yeah, but people do catch people they in the act. Caught. Yeah. So we headed downtown to interview some transgender prostitutes to learn about their experience being LGBTQ plus in a country where it's illegal to change your gender or to be caught being gay. Are you working the streets right now? Yes, I'm in the streets. And you're a uh, transgender? Yes, I'm a transgender. How long have you been transgender? About seven years now. Yes, I'm from 12 years old. How old are you? 19. I heard it's illegal to be gay out here, is that true? Yes, it's very illegal to be gay. Sometimes them fight in a community, you can't go back home, go live. But sometimes I go home, come home to the community, go look for my family and so. But you know me, I have to be in the streets because them accept my, my homosexual lifestyle. And um, how is it working the streets out here? Sometimes it's pretty easy, sometimes it's very rough. You have nights when we catch one look at dollar, you have nights when you will catch nothing on at all, you have to fight it. Mosquito bite you up under the gully, rat run, come and kiss you and the things and say you have a 50-50 chance. So it's dangerous working out here? Very dangerous. Do you think you'll walk away from this type of work at some point? Yeah, hopefully one day. So you have real breasts and a real penis? Yes, I have real penis. I see. The police catch you in the act. You'll Bro, you ain't need to ask that question. Why did Tyler need to ask that question, though? Like, he already said, yeah, you're you're transgender, right? Yes. Okay, and then they, they, keep, then they just keep talking about that. What the fuck? Go to jail. Then we run your home and there. Some of them we lock you up. Some we send your home and tell you don't make them see back. Some we lock you up. Some we Tyler, Tyler just asking every question that comes in his mind, bro. Spray some we beat her. So you have them work out for them. Dude, that's crazy. You can get arrested for being gay though. Like, what do you think the sentence is for that shit too? What's the sentence for being gay in Jamaica? Laws regarding homosexuality. Oh, they have a whole document. It says, if you Google it, it says there's no real evidence that it's currently being enforced in recent years. But if you are caught in the act, you will it, you are subjected to discrimination and violence. Especially if you're LGBTQ. So it's not safe to be LGBTQ, but they're saying it's more rare. It's not like an everyday occurrence where if you're gay, you're going to go to prison. But that's still fucked.
mood and oh, stuff. Our life is our life. We live our life to do it. Oh, I wa we want to live our lives and we should be free and walk and pre people not bashing us. All right, I'm here with? Kim, Kim. What are, what are your pronouns? I'm a she. How long have you been a she? About 15 years. 15 years? It's really risky out there. Police abuse with man abuse with all type of people abuse it. Was it very dangerous? It's very dangerous out there. How old are you? I'm 35. 35? Do you think Jamaica is accepting of who you are? It's really risky same here, but cause I same here the other day them killed one trans woman. Hey, did you know that person? Yeah. That's like them are homosexual and them kill them in other homes. They killed them in their house yeah. for having sick gay sex? Yeah. Bro, for any chatters that say dub, bro, we're gonna fucking ban the shit out of you and I can't wait to read your stupid ass fucking on ban request bro they just said they killed transgender people there and i see i look over and i see a stupid ass dub bro get the fuck out of here burn they burn them, them. yeah burn them it's very very risky being out there and being natural. wow do you think jamaica is a safe country no not safe for our lives not for our lives would you believe me if i said it's the murder capital of the world i think so is it risky out here to get diseases like hiv and that sort of thing yes it's a high High risk? No, yeah, it's Miami. not a high risk. No. We have okay. organization out here who come out here and help us and give us condom and give us safety safety things. So even when we see people driving past us pretty aggressively, are you scared they might hit you or try to shoot? Or? We don't know what they're up to. Even when we drove up, were you skeptical of like, what are these guys up to? And I was actually pretty scared though because I thought you were Oh, right over there. Yeah. Well, you guys are all very sweet. I hope you guys stay safe. And as they started to spontaneously show off their bodies to the camera, out of nowhere, two armed muggers came over to rob me and my cameraman and barely spared us only after recognizing Jamaica walk by as he yelled, Bumbleclat in the distance. They told us to turn. They the were going to taste Tyler? Nah, that would have been crazy, bro. Oh my God, the cameraman. Just cameraman holding Tyler in frame, just fucking tasing the shit out of him. Oh my God. Was off, and instead of robbing us, they agreed to be interviewed if we brought them some cash. So we're interviewing transgender prostitutes on the street, and then you saw what? I saw a car pass, the freaking car made a U-turn. So I was like, all right, let me, let me just park the freaking van. You know what I mean? When I realized the guy- I mean, that's why Tyler's smart that he gets guides for this shit too, because if Tyler was alone, he'd be fucking dead, dude. Come out of the van, come out of the, the car, and comes up, up and swing around. And I said, oh, shit. I realize that we're in trouble now. Because and within that time, these two guys came over with a knife and a taser to come rob and kill us. Or kidnap. Them are kidnap. Come, are kidnap. Uh, like, what are you doing? What's going on here? And then I realized that you were trying to explain that they were going to rob and kill us. Yeah. And now they're all happy, go lucky, and interview us and tell us about them being gangbangers. Just like that. Man, I I'm nervous. Bro. Bum -bum -bum -bum. We're basically being extorted right now in real time to where we have to go get some <laughs> I cash. wouldn't want to interview them. I wouldn't want to interview them. Yeah, oh no, we'll interview you, just bring us some cash. Oh yeah, we'll come back real quick. And then they just fucking still rob you. Floating for the three. That's wild to me. As a lesbian, the fact I could go to Jamaica and get arrested in Australia. I've been beat up for just liking women. That's crazy enough. I'm so lucky to live where that where I am. Dude, yeah. I mean, I, that, would, that would be fucking insane. To have to deal with that. Payton and sleeps for the sub. Um, KM for the three. Uh, already read that. Or we run the risk of Fabian getting murdered and killed on the streets one day for conning them. So we have to get some cash right now because we spent all of our money interviewing prostitutes. Not because we prearranged this, but because they were going to mug us. Cha -ching. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Let's go get robbed. Bumble clap. Bumble clap. Okay, so I'm here with. Who are you, sir? Mr. AK-47. Mr. AK-47. Mr. AK-47, we're interviewing the transgender Why are they prostitutes. still holding hands? You are going to mug me? Yeah. Yeah? What, did I look like easy pickings? Not really. Okay. Do you think I would have ran? No. Um, what would you have done to me if we didn't, you know? We'll just rob you and take away your stuff and let you go. Okay, I appreciate that. Can I see what you would have robbed me with? Oh, whoa. So that's a big old knife. Bro, that's so I unsafe. He just has that shit sitting in his pants. Like, chat, imagine having a sharp kitchen knife just against your thigh on the inside of your pants. Like, if you move too fast, you're going to cut yourself. Have you ever had to use it on anyone? Mm, no. So, so would you have walked up and said, like, Give me everything. Give me everything. Give me everything. So I'm like, I'm talking to the ladies. How would you have done it? I'm just going to take them. Oh. 
Okay, got it. I'm going to your pocket and everything. And then you would have left me there? And go about my business. Okay, so you wouldn't have stabbed me? No, I wouldn't stab you. Okay, you're a member of a local gang? Yeah. Do you pimp out the gays? Yeah, they have to give them money. Well, they're right, they have to give them money. How often do you find guys like us for easy pickings and you want to mug them? The, the first time. We were the first? Yeah. So you saw us, you're like, all right, two white white guys. Yeah. They don't look that fast. Yeah, I would have stayed with you. Here's you what know. I would have done. I would have done like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, let me show you my 40 real quick. I think I would have out I think I would have outran you. <laughs> I think it would have outran you. Hold up. Let me just let me just let me just whip out my 40. Then the guy pulls out a gun out of his pocket. He would have been like, this would have solved the problem. <laughs> you think you yeah, but then I hit you with the then I hit you with the Like Neo. Up to me. Oh shit, he's quick. Okay, you actually would have killed me, yeah? Did you grow up in a rough neighborhood out here? Yeah. Grew up in two by the guard. How much do you make per night? Sometime a hundred gun. Holy smokes. 100 grand. Is that a good day or a bad day? Well, it doesn't look like it's a good day. Are you guys 100 are grand in a day? Yeah. <laughs> it's 100 grand in Jamaican dollars. How much is 100K Jamaican to US dollars? Oh, $654. I mean, that's still a lot of money. But you're going to let us go. For one day. Go tonight, right? Yeah. W was there any circumstance where you'd kidnap us? No, I would kidnap you. We're not kidnappable. No, we're not kidnappable. If I was. I mean, but in Jamaica, do they, do they use U.S. currency too? I don't know. A sexy, blonde haired, blue eyed girl, what would you do to me? Kidnap you. Actually? Yeah. How much could that go for in the market? It might be 100,000. 100,000? So it'd be like, hey, we Okay, I think that's 100K U.S. dollars. Kidnap your daughter. How much can we get? 100,000. That's 100,000 US. Yeah. So how would that process Okay, go maybe like? he did make 100K US. You call the parents and be like, hey, we have your daughter. We're gonna kill her unless you give us this amount of money. And then if they didn't respond within like a day or two, would you like cut off a finger? The money will come. The money will come. Have you ever had to do that? I think about it. Tyler getting way too in depth. All right, so you call and they don't respond for a day. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna rip their toenails off? Maybe slice their skin on their left hand off? You know, waterboard them? What are you? You know, what are you? What are you getting into here? Thank you so much for your time, sir. Bumble clap. Bumble rasta. Pussy clap. Pussy clap. And we here. We have another young man. How you doing? I'm okay, bro. Thank you for not mugging me. Yeah. Who am I here with? My name is Thomas. Thomas. How do you like Jamaica? Yeah, I don't. Why are they it? holding hands? Bruh. What's uh, what's your biggest money making scheme out here? You do any contract killings? Yeah. Is that pretty dirty work? I don't do. Is it pretty like violent? Yeah, yeah. You risk your life out there? Yeah. Okay. Those boys on the road is they is fish. He's not a fish. A shark. Yeah, yeah. Are you a killer? Yeah, we rob people. Okay, what's the biggest thing you've stolen from someone? Like, what's the biggest like, robbery? Like a phone. Goodbye, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, thank you, brother. Oh, <laughs> 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 You gotta be smart. Where are you gonna walk at night? We were not smart just then. You look at swoops right now. Yeah, I was because when I saw that the guy was- He looks high as shit actually coming over to you guys some some stupid guy would probably drive off i didn't i had to thank you for protecting <laughs> thanks for saving us blessing this one after narrowly getting mugged and kidnapped we made our way to tivoli gardens the birthplace of the contract killer we met last night and arguably the most dangerous place in jamaica apparently this community got ransacked basically after the u.s came in here to get coke and extradited him to the u.s he was that villainous of a character apparently but his sons are plugged today would you like to tell us how it is out here in Jamaica? Nappy. Nice job, a nice Good. country. Toast for the three. Probably first time I'm sending you best been watching for a while. Long time. Enjoy watching your streams every time. Love what you do. I was surprised when he rated Sable Ronaldo the other day. I wanted to ask if we could expect a collab soon. I, he did hit me up on Twitter. Or I messaged him on Twitter. He hit me back. We might set something up. Uh, Lila for the three. Do you run fast? I think I run fast. Safe? I think I can run a 4-8-40. If I'm wearing if I'm wearing soccer or football cleats and you give me five tries and I warm up, I think I can run a 4840. No practice.
Swear to God. Easy. Like, okay, at worst, 4-9. I'm saying, I'm, I think out of the five, I'm going to run five flat, five flat, 4-8, four, 4-9, four, nine, four, nine. Safe. Okay. I'm fine. I'm a bond Jamaica. Okay, that's You made a promise you'd do that like three months ago? Bro, it ain't warm outside yet. I'll do it. I'll do it. I Sweet. love my country. Respect. Respect you. Respect. I'm a nigga. Huh? I'm a, I'm a nigga. <laughs> what do you mean? We nigga. We look at we nigga. What do you mean? We look at we the nigga. We say, okay, you white nigga. I, oh, I am. What was he trying to tell me? He said he's a bleeper? Yeah, I don't even want to get inside. <laughs> this place back in the days used to be very tense. The police force and the community was at war. It was no joke. I'm not the one who have to tell you, but it's on the news. The news don't. Yeah. So, and... <laughs> yeah, that one kind of sound weird. That sounded like a gunshot. Yeah, that kind of sounded like a gunshot. And it probably was. It probably was. All right, so we are not welcome to the bar. I can't even see you, bro. So we have beef. No, 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 say that. So we're immediately met with a little bit of hostility. They don't like the yeah, camera. That's what I'm telling you. You have some people with, with like the camera, some won't. People don't show up here, especially that aren't from here, right? Yeah, I, like, I, see we step in a while. No, I, I would not want to be the cameraman. Bro can't even look around. He's just constantly focused on like what's in front of him. Somebody could just run up behind him and fucking punch him in the face. First time sending bets, I already are. Did I just read that? I did just read that. That guy was hesitant and start ball about the camera and bunch of things for god reasons i don't know if you look online tivoli gardens it's unlikely you'll see many locals visiting the area according to fabian we have some protective cloak on us because we're white right now i'm not sure if that's real while the community was now covered with colorful murals only 14 years ago it was covered with bullet holes and blood Teacher. how you doing my name is tyler we're glad to be here yeah we wanted to learn about tivoli so yeah who am i here with i hear with Rascoco, yeah Coco, and you have a pretty uh, legendary father as well? Yeah, as, as in family. I don't know, in the past, old man was more politically and community oriented, you know? Okay. This community has a lot of rich, rich history, you know? And, you know, in 2010, the community went through an incursion where a lot of persons lost their lives, and it's really a dark time, you know? And so this is you guys trying to move beyond what yeah. what passed? Passed like that. Those are bullet holes? Yeah. That was the time I'm telling you about. A lot of persons were lost loved ones. Over 70 odd people died, you know? Yeah. As I said, that is a part of the history where it's dark. Traumatic, man. So, you know, when you come with the art for the community, it's actually to give the youths them, especially a different outlook. Why do you think so many people in Jamaica are killing each other? Uh, mindset. Most people will say circumstances. I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna look up the stats on that. Hold up. How many people are murdered in Jamaica every year? Uh, the people murdered in Jamaica was 1,498 in 2022. Let me look up the U.S. U.S. is way more. 21,000 people were murdered in 2022. What? 21,000 people were either murdered or non-negligent manslaughtered. 21,000 people were fucking murdered. That's a lot. Who quirky for the sub? I think that would also include, like, if you ran somebody over with a car, though. Um, Tell me you peeped the new J. Cole shit. No, I haven't. Yeah, man. The island is not most mostly negative. I think the item, as medias and persons who are showcasing things, just need to put forward the brightness that the, uh, the island is offering, you know? Just for context, Coco is the nephew of the infamous drug lord and gangster Christopher Coke, who was the leader of the Shower Posse drug cartel. The U.S. requested that he be extradited, and on May 24, 2010, Jamaica sent in 800 soldiers and 370 police officers to restore state authority and to arrest Christopher Coke, ultimately leading to the often disputed number of 73 civilians being killed. This bloodbath is simply referred to as the incursion. However, Coco here wants to push Tivoli towards a brighter and less violent future. Wow. Yeah, trampoline. This is badass. But we're planning to do the entire community like this. Like I said, back in 2010, it was a horrible time, you know? So we want to create new meaning and we want to create new thinking. As I said, the mindset. So we have 100 artists coming from all over the world because we're going to try to transform the city once and for all, you know? 
vibe seemed peaceful, but I was also aware that I was being given a sort of red carpet like treatment since I have a large YouTube channel. And I felt like I was given a North Korean like tour and was being used to perpetuate inaccurate propaganda that this place was somehow super safe. But to be fair, most people I talked to- I would say it definitely seems like it's going to the positive, but I mean, e e at the end of the day, there's probably still bad stuff that happens, but less. To be happy living- Rambo for the raid. Here, despite many vaguely referring to it as violent. So we just- uh, uh, Those it. holes right there? Yeah, man, as we say, it's a dark time, you know? All these right here are bullets. They're gonna be reshaped and reformed. Yeah, man, yeah, man. But despite the stigma, violent past, and even highly violent present according to a lot of statistics, the people here were once again very opposed to the idea that this place was, in reality, the literal murder capital of the world. Uh, have you lived here your whole life? Yeah. How is it? Very safe there. right here now. Oh, safe right here now? Yeah. Can you tell me about what it was before this time? In the 70s it was more rougher, but now it's reasonable good, you know. You remember the incursion? Yeah, man. I was right here in the yeah. incursion, yeah. What did you remember? I see people dying. We don't want to see that back again. What are your thoughts on, like, the American travel advisory that says it's dangerous? No, well, American can't say anything, you know, because for the murder rate is more higher than our own because them is killing 20 and 40 in a shop. Well, and then don't we have the highest incarceration rate out of any country in the entire fucking world? Like, we have more people in prison than some countries' population which is fucking insane how many people are in prison in the u.s i think it's like 2 million 1.23 million people are in prison in the united states that's so many fucking people dude let me look at that up in the uk in the uk there's only 95,000 people in prison but i mean what's u.s pop U.S. population is 333 versus U.K. pop, 67 million. So the numbers are still not relative percentage-wise. We just have way more fucking people in prison. In Mal, we never have that in Jamaica. What is your favorite part about Tivoli? When I love Tivoli. Somebody said, have you played Beyond Two Souls? Um, no, but we are probably going to play that on stream one day. If you have any games you want me to watch or videos you want me to play, I explain my Discord. Video discussion, have game slash tap type. I most of the videos that I watch, the games that I play. Some of these are the MMA, an hour and a half from now at 8, chat. I regard very much. I love my community. Sometimes it's peaceful and the kids. All right, yo, actually, now that I'm remembering that, I know we have a minute left, but I feel like we're actually going to fucking dip because we need to get through the rest of these videos. We only have an hour and a half and we have fucking five videos left. Lock in. Lock in. Holy shit. I didn't realize that. Because we gotta, I mean, if we're a little late, it doesn't matter, right? Like, with the sponsor, they want me to watch, uh, obviously, a certain amount of the, the event. I probably plan on watching most, if not all, of the event. So, I mean, if we're, like, ten minutes late, it's whatever, right? But let's lock in. Overnight on the world's most haunted island. Behind me is the most haunted island in the world, where over 150,000 people have died of the Black Plague. And it is completely- 150,000 people on this one island? <laughs> Dude, there's like four buildings here. 150,000 fucking people. There's no shot. Completely illegal to step foot on. So I guess I better not go then. The police have banned anyone from visiting this. Could have pulled up a little closer, eh? Don't mean to be that guy, but, you know, kind of making yourself do a little extra work here, right? <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking. Uh, I can't go on the island. <laughs> Jumps in the water. Bro, just fucking pull right up and step off. I banned anyone from visiting this island after countless unexplained injuries and death. This is not safe. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. <sighs> oh, I got it. Oh, there's a boat coming. There's a boat. Run, 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 run. Get down, get down, get down. A police boat literally is coming straight for us. We're in Povlia, Italy, an island in the middle of Venice, home to an insane asylum that conducted illegal experiments on its patients. Somebody said people have weak immune systems. God damn. Buddy, they had the Black Plague. That killed, like, more than half of the people that got I'm pretty sure that killed the majority of the people that got it. Black Plague survival rate. The fatality ratio was 30 to 60%. And its most haunted area is the bell tower, which we'll be investigating later. Got that shit. It was like a coin flip on whether or not you died. In this video. 
So this is where we're going to set up our operations. See, our entire goal is to get to that bell tower before light goes down. That's where we're going to do our investigation. Let me show you literally all the ghost equipment that I have. So I have got the craziest security camera system I could possibly find that's- I mean, how does he know it's haunted though? Like, he's saying a bunch of people died there, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's haunted. Night vision and motion sensors. A spirit box. This is a thing that runs through loads of different FM frequencies. Let's see what the ghost of- Oh, uh, yeah, I've used one of those on Phasmophobia. I think I know how that works. You can go buy that. Yeah, have to say to us. Thermal gun. If these ghosts or spirits produce yeah, any- Yeah, that measures the temperature. Yep, freezing temperatures. Mark that one off. Yep. We will literally see it perfectly. If ghosts exist, I'm going to find it. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in ghosts. The people that believe in ghosts, we're here to prove it right. Come on, let's go. And for the people that don't, I am going to be as incredibly unbiased as you possibly can be. But I do not believe in ghosts. So we entered the dense forest to find the bell tower. This island apparently is an absolute labyrinth. I mean, we could just get lost super easy, man. Building number one. All I know is this place is meant to be a death trap. It is completely overgrown. Bro, somebody, okay, I gotta stop reading stupid chats because we have to lock in, but somebody just said there are way less infections from the Black Plague now. Buddy, the Black Plague was like fucking 500 years ago. No one, no one, I'm pretty sure no one has the Black Plague anymore. It's not like malaria. I don't think anyone has the Black Plague. And if we're speaking of the most deadly disease in the entire world history for humans, it is malaria. I think half of the humans that have ever lived ever have died of malaria. Oh, wow. Like, what is that? See, this is for sanitation. It was like a cooker to burn off diseases and things like that. Next building. This is creepy. <laughs> this entire building could, like, collapse at any moment. We need to be super, super careful with our steps. I thought it literally Malaria saw. from mosquitoes. Transferred through mosquitoes. 100 billion people died from malaria. Oh, there's someone looking at me there. <laughs> Shut up. I swear to God. This guy doesn't believe in ghosts. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna keep continue going. We're losing light real fast, man. We knew we were getting closer to the asylum. There's the church. There's the church. You found the church? Yeah. We can see the direction of the bell tower. The light is fading very fast. And eventually, we entered its grounds. I, I don't understand why they never worry that the building would collapse, you know? Like, I know it's still standing now, but you're going to an abandoned place, and I always watch these videos, and they just casually walk around. I'm like, dude, what if the floor just gave out? This shit's like 300 what years old. What the hell is in there? It smells so The like fucking I'm roof collapses. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> right. He yeah, said that? No. But we didn't have to, as the entrance to the asylum was right around the corner. The entrance to the asylum. It looks imposing and scary. I'm not going to lie. You ready to enter hell? <laughs> I mean, honestly, this doesn't look that old. Oh, gosh. You need to get some lights on. We now need to start planting the first cameras. Deep into the asylum we go. I'm getting the sense that like, just anything could be around the corner. With patient bed. Oh man, look how dark it's gone. Every step I'm taking feels dangerous. Oh my God. This hallway looks like the most horror hallway I've ever seen. I'm gonna plant the camera here. I swear to God, I'm feeling creeped out. This place is freaky. Oh, man. So, guys, I have no way of really explaining what happened next. Oh, all of our devices stopped working. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. All right, all of our devices stopped working, and then right then and there, I swear to God, a ghost just came up and talked to me. I have, I can't show it. I can't show you guys, though. For some reason, all of our equipment stopped working all at the same time. Everything's not working either. Everything's not working right now. We are now possibly cut off from the outside world. But I had an important mission for Matt. Send the guy that believes in ghosts off to check to see if there are ghosts on his own. Yeah. You'll be fine. I have to do an ad while uh, you go off and do something else. Lark is sponsoring this video. Guys, I'm literally gonna have to do the sponsorship like this. There are also cool things that Lark can add. You can put in right, a Right, is there still the ad? And with that said, I, I'm, I'm, that's, that's it done. I'm freaked out now. <laughs> I need to find that. Well, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me. Man, the, the, the light is not working. I mean, I swear to God, that light has turned off about five times. It, it doesn't like us being here. I did not like walking around there, to be honest. You feel all right? Other than seeing what I thought was like a flashing light of the front. 
That's spooky, man. Well, they keep that happening. Right, well, we're going old style YouTube right now. Okay. <laughs> so we have all the cameras set up all over the asylum now. Now it's time to venture a go bit deeper with the heat gun. It's oogly boogly time. <laughs> we're going to track down the smallest thing we can find on this. So, right, you ready? Let's see if anything in this entire. Dude, I don't know. Do you guys believe in this shit? It's just like. Uh... Whenever I see some dickhead break out a fucking temperature gun and then, like, walk around and go, Ooh, it's warmer here. I'm like, dude. Fireplace has any kind of different heat signature. There's, like, a trail of heat. Right? I would say, like, I've seen Sam and Colby before, and they'll, they'll kind of maybe convince me a little bit more. But, like, some of their shit, like... Follow this. Wow. What are you about to see right now? Man. There wow is literally a uh, bit of a, a heat and signature following along the wall. Oh man, where is it taking us? There's definitely, wait, there's some heat up here through the door. Yeah. That door is, is warmer than all, everything outside. Oh, yeah, the there's door, heat. The room that's enclosed is warmer than the outside. Really? I'm here for some reason. Oh man. Do you know where this heat just, just led us? Bell Tower? Yeah. You're joking? No. I am not joking. <laughs> no way. You know, I would say, out at outside perspective, this just looks stupid as fuck. But if you were there, you would also be like, oh, fuck, no way. Like, I'm making fun of this, but if you gave me that heat gun and it brought me to the bell tower where, like, everybody died or some shit, I'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Even if I just happened to go there. Oh, my God. They say that the bell tower is, is the most haunted part. And weirdly, the heat gun brought us right to it. I, I don't know how to explain that. I'm guessing that if there is one place that is, oh, there we go again, that's haunted. So I think this is where we do our biggest test. For any of you watching that believe in paranormal stuff, I'm not sure I believe it. I'm not sure I believe it. Oh, all the, t all the technology shuts off, but the fucking camera. Oh, ooh. Maybe the ghosts don't want us here, but the camera never shuts off. Ooh. But if I did, I think here would be the spot that we would find some activity. Let's try and talk to a ghost. Before I open oh, up I swear my to God. Okay, no, they're not about to do it. Yo, I hate when I watch the Sam and Colby videos. and Like, I like watching their content, but whenever they do that shit where they sit in a room and then it's like always... I don't know which one it is. He puts on a fucking headset and goes, Apple. Banana. Killing. Run. 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 Death. Despair. I'm like, dude, come on. Like myself to being possibly possessed by a demon or something i got something to say i want to thank you guys for everything that's been happening with the channel recently i've never seen anything like the last couple of videos As our views are insane we're getting more views than like ksi and logan paul like all these like massive youtubers somehow thanks to you guys but i think we can go way further this is the beginning of what we i have never seen this guy's channel before oh he's 425k He's probably grown pretty quick. Can achieve. So if you could show your support and subscribe right now. Help don't hate on Sam and Colby. I'm not hating on Sam and Colby. I'm saying I don't like that segment. Channel hit 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. We can prove that it is not too late to take your dreams. That you can do whatever the hell you want with your life. And with that said, let's go talk to some ghosts. <laughs> so as much as I was laughing and joking, we were about to experience something really, really weird. Well, they're definitely Italian. We couldn't understand Italian, so we realized we were going to have to take it off the island for translation. But first, we needed to collect as much audio as possible. Were these ghosts telling us we were about to be murdered? I don't know. To be honest, I'm just hearing great music. <laughs> I can't speak a town, so now. Nah, I would love to do a fucking stupid, stupid ghost hunting YouTube video where I go to like the most boring abandoned place. 
put one put just put my gaming headset on and plug it into nothing and just go killing death they're coming they're coming they're coming right now they're after us run it just just fake shit like oh my god just say whatever's coming to your head bro it's time for us to just sleep i guess and get this translated in the morning matt you ready repent repent death death is near I am ready. We're gonna be the first people to sleep on this goddamn thing in over 70 years. <laughs> so I genuinely- oh, God damn, am I talking to Yoda? Am I talking to Yoda on this mic right now? Fuck. Maybe use some full sentences. I really don't believe in ghosts and it would honestly take- I think this ghost is uh one of the 21% of illiterate people- Wait, no, that wouldn't make sense because they- A ghost doesn't need to read to be able to speak. Something pretty crazy to change my mind. But as we got ready to sleep, we had no idea what our audio had already captured. I hope we don't die in our sleep. <laughs> How are you feeling, Matt? I feel right. Uh, a little bit shivery. I think the temperature's getting a little colder. Yeah, it's getting really cold. Oh, I think I'm getting something. Oh, OJ, OJ Simpson, he did do it. Oh my god. The next Super Bowl winners are going to be uh, the Browns. Congratulations, Matt. You have some Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I'm I'm fucking clicking off. St stupidly expensive things Elon Musk owns. Party and super for the sub 420 for the three. Me and my boyfriend watch your YouTube video uh, or YouTube all the time. Try and watch your stream as much as possible. You're brilliant. Keep doing what you're doing uh, from Scotland. Thank you. Epic for the three. Black Plague is very scarce but still exists. Every year between 1,000 and 2,000 people get a plague. Is it the, pl is it the plague though? Who quirky for the sub? Human plagues infections continue to occur in rural areas in Western United States, but significantly more ca uh, cases occur in parts of Africa or Asia. I don't think it's the same plague, though. It's just a plague. This is Elon Musk's $300 million jet collection, and it's got features you couldn't even imagine. An aquarium bathroom? I don't know if I would like that. I feel like I'd be being watched the whole time. That might make me a little uncomfortable. But I'm also going to show you how he spends $216 million on his kids. Oh, nah, the kid got a mini Bugatti. His $80 million neighborhood, his car collection, and so much more. But first, let's start with his shoes, which are so rare. He almost faced six months in prison for him, because in 2019, he revealed the Tesla Model Y at the Tesla Design Center in California. But he can't be releasing the best car in history, looking like this. He had to wear something so controversial, it's literally illegal in California custom one of one air jordan tesla shoes it's made of materials like pony hair red metallic leather and python leather but i'm gonna keep it real those shoes look ugly as fuck got that boof ass t just sitting on them they do they just look like shitty jays like i like black and red like i would say those are my two favorite colors but this it's just like it looks like the, the material is just weird Tesla shoes. It's made of materials like pony hair, red metallic leather, and python leather. But in California, wearing anything from a python is illegal and can land you up to six months in jail. But Elon's not trying to risk another lawsuit, so he hasn't been seen wearing them since. Those shoes only cost oh, a- nah, but he's got those size 15 grippers. Since. Wow. Those shoes only cost a 1500 though, which is nothing compared to what he plans to wear on Mars. Because in space, time works a little differently, and he had to make sure his wrist game was on point. So he called up Tag Hewer to make him something special, and that's exactly what they gave him. This is the limited edition. So what is with rich people getting boring ass what? Yo, this shit is not dripped out at all. At all. Like, if I, if I was Elon Musk, I'd be wearing a fucking diamond studded Rolex. I'd be wearing that shit XQC wears.
the fucking necklace that's like covered in fucking die like diamonds and shit. This just looks like a fucking this looks like a fucking watch I'd get at Target. Edition Carrera 1887 SpaceX, and it was released on the 50th anniversary of the first ever Swiss watch worn in space. But you can buy that watch yourself for 10k. So while Elon's on Earth, it lowers the price to get him diamond studded. Okay, I just get a nice Rolex. I just get a okay. Oh my God. Uh, well, actually, they have to drill into the Rolex, and it decreases the value because then they're putting diamonds on them. And I I'll just get a nice Rolex. Jewy for the sub. Funky for the four. He knew he had to step it up. So not only did he buy an Audemars Piguet for 50 grand, he also- That watch is- See, nah. So bought a Richard- Richard mm. Mill for 200 I mean, that is kind of cool to see the fucking shit spin on the inside. $100,000. Now, that's crazy. But his car collection- Dude, having a watch that costs 200 grand, I just can't fathom that. Like, ha on your wrist, you have something that costs the equivalent of some people's homes. Like, the annual income of the average American for fucking, what, eight years on your wrist? ...is out of this world. No, literally. He put his personal $100,000 Tesla Roadster on a is rock... Is at eight or nine? It's in an hour and four minutes. It that he made and sent it into space. Who does that? He even live streamed the whole event, and you can track where it is in space right now. And since he's never getting that one back, he just bought another one. But Elon doesn't just own Teslas, because since he's made the first mass produced electric car, it's only right he owns the first mass produced gas car, too. The 1920 Ford Model T. That car barely works and it costs him 25k. But did you know his dream car was also a gas car? When Elon was 17, he saw the Jaguar E Type in a magazine and instantly fell in love with it. And I don't know. I think my dream car might have changed. Chat, rate rate this rate this dream car real quick. I don't know. Uh I I I I think it it's like a good it's a good fucking I think it's a rich person car and that's why I that's why I think it's a dream car because I see rich people drive this shit. But the car itself ain't that fire. But the inside's real nice. Porsche 911. Porsche 911. It's going to be an Audi? No. That's a nice car. That's a nice car. 117,000 MSRP. Oof. Post fees, probably 150K. They're fast as fuck. Yeah, I know. Well, you could get different types, too. I would get that or, like, a Ferrari. I would own a Ferrari, bro. That would be fucking dope to own a Ferrari. Or, like, a McLaren. But those are, like, million-dollar cars. Having a Porsche 911 is like a dream car. That's like realistically achievable if you like grind the fuck out of life. <laughs> like, at, like if you're like, my dream car is a Bugatti Chiron. Okay, buddy. And are you gonna be, be the next crypto fucking whale, dude? That car's $5 million. You said Porsche wrong? Porsche. Porsche 911. Porsche. I say Porsche. Porsche. Super for the five. I'm super bomber, I have red hair. Cool. The max for the sub. At that point, though, Elon was broke like the rest of us. With only 2,000... Why can't you get one right now? That's financially irresponsible. See, bro, I understand I make money, but, like, I'm not gonna go and blow fucking an ass ton of money on cars, right? Like, that's just dumb. When you see YouTubers, or not YouTubers, because YouTubers can make a lot of money. When you see, like, a TikToker with, like, $3 million that owns a fucking Corvette, they're broke. They're fucking broke. They have, they, they just spent all of their money on that fucking Corvette. And now, if they fucking, if they lose their following, they won't have enough money to pay that shit off. Like, that, they, they live rich, but they don't have money. Bucks to his name and a hundred thousand dollars in debt. But once he made just enough, he copped it immediately. What car do and you have? I have a Jeep. <laughs> or not, that car barely works too. And then the first car I bought a 1967 Series 1 E Type Dag. Kept breaking down on me, caused me all sorts of trouble. In fact, it broke down on the way back from the dealer. Now, 100K is a lot for a car that breaks down, but one of his most expensive cars. Yo, Blue Rats, thank, thank you for the five gifteds, bro. Life. Because after Elon made his first bag off PayPal, he leveled up and bought a $1 million McLaren F1. 
until one day... I didn't really know how to drive the McLaren, so I floored it and did a lane change and started spinning. I remember seeing the cars coming towards me while I was going backwards, and then we hit an embankment, which tossed the car into the air like a discus, and we blew the suspension out. All the glass and the wheels and everything was shredded, and there was massive body damage in the front and rear. Elon needed a new... I think I would cry for a week straight if I crashed a million-dollar car. I think I'd cry for a month straight if I crashed into a million-dollar car. If you hit, like, imagine imagine getting into a fender bender with a fucking, I don't know, a Nissan GTR or, like, a really nice car. Oh, like that, he's a billionaire? Dude, yeah, I know it's whatever for him, but I'm saying, like, holy shit. What type of Jeep you got? Uh, Wrangler. It's a, it's a, it's a Jeep Wrangler, you know? I could off-road if I wanted to. I could climb a mountain car except he wanted something that was even cr i got a gladiator <laughs> cringe <laughs> Cr cringe no nah, i'm kidding gladiators are pretty cool some people don't like them like uh my girlfriend brooke don't like gladiators i don't know why she's like it doesn't look right i think i was like i think they look cool like a jeep truck's pretty dope and it's like you know it's a combination so it's just like an all-around vehicle wait hold up i'll tell you the exact car i have jojo let me text you All right, lock back in. Crazier, so we decided he had to buy a car that could literally turn into a submarine. Yeah, this car from James Bond actually works. And after a couple found it in an abandoned storage unit, Elon swapped it up for a- What do you mean you found it in an abandoned- You found, you just find a, a, a fucking car that goes underwater and in, in a storage unit. Where? What the fuck? Storage Wars? That's Storage Wars for you. What the fuck? Mill, bringing his total car collection to be worth over $2.8 million. But where the hell is he going to store all these cars, though? Well, maybe in the entire neighborhood he bought full of mansions in Bel Air. At first, he just bought one house, like any average person, except that it was worth 17 mil. This mansion- Ah, dude, those houses worry me, though. Like, if you wanted to be a real asshole, you could just fucking drive by and just chuck a fucking rock and just shatter all of their windows. Like, that shit is so fu- It's just all glass. Like, you can't- You have no privacy. Mill. This mansion's got seven bedrooms, a gym, a spa, a tennis court. I mean, this place even has its own movie theater. Wait, even Elon subscribed, and this is only our first video. So why aren't you? Subscribe. And he liked Dude, the place Elon so much, he decided to get six more video. of them. Rose really got seven houses with gyms and still looks like Peter Griffin. And all those mansions are pretty much the same, except Hold for up. one. I don't want to miss part of the video. Chat, now you got to wait because I paused. <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> Elon straight up bought Willy Wonka's house, which looks normal on the outside, but it's got some weird stuff on the inside. Don't you That's fucking terrifying. Why would you not get rid of that? Gene Wilder's house? That's a real quirky house, yeah. All the cabinets are like odd shapes. There's like doors to nowhere and car doors and tunnels and odd paintings on the wall. But Elon was- Yo, imagine taking fucking acid and just going in that house. They just have doors that go nowhere and like random hallways that lead to nothing. Stuff on the inside. Don't you have Gene Wilder's house? You're just fucking hallucinating. You're just, where am I? That's a real quirky house, yeah. All oh the cabinets God. are like odd shapes. I think I, I think, I think the universe blew up. I think this house is all that, that remains. I think I need a bunker down here for the, for the next couple of years. There's like doors to nowhere and car doors and tunnels and odd paintings on the wall. But Elon wasn't trying to live in that creepy ass house, so obviously he turned it into a school for his kids. Let's look at the physics and economics of a rocket. I mean, I'm not going to question one of the richest men in the world because he's the one who can afford an 80 million dollar neighborhood. All that Tesla money must be nice. So you know the boy to get. Yeah, you're rich if you got grass on your roof. <laughs> 
if you got gra if you got a tennis court on your roof your neighborhood all that tesla wow. money must be nice so you know the boy to get a diamond tesla ring to celebrate and elon usually isn't one to flex diamonds but since it was gifted by ben baller he let it slide he has bought one piece of jewelry though except it wasn't for himself Straight from his father's emerald mine, he gifted this green emerald on a 14 karat gold necklace to his college girlfriend. And after they broke up, he probably wasn't hurt like I'd be at for spending 50k on it. But his second wife got millions. Cause once Elon found out how much girls care about rings, he splashed on three different engagement rings for his new girl. The first ring he bought was a three engagement rings for her one wife? 100 bands. But since Elon was making hundreds of millions, she roasted him for being cheap. So to make up for it, he bought her a ring. And then I'd fucking leave her ass. What? What? You buy some... Bro, yeah, he's a billionaire. You buy her a $100,000 ring? Yo, you're cheap. Uh, buy The fuck? What? Nah, like, I get... I get that you shouldn't, like, buy... If you're rich, and if he's rich and he bought her, like, a shitty ring, that'd be one thing, right? But a 100k ring is more than the majority of people's wedding rings. Worth 300,000 in two or Yeah, like that. I feel like that's just a hindrance on your hand. He bought her a ring worth three. That's covering her entire middle finger or her ring finger. 100,000. And to her surprise, that was only the ring for everyday use. He also bought her a ring for special occasions, which had 10 sapphires and a diamond so big, it cost him a million dollars. Bringing the total he spent on jewelry to 1.5 million. Clearly, Elon didn't give a fuck about spending that bag either, because he divorced her two years later and slid her 16 mil for the trouble. <laughs> yeah. All of that for a two-year marriage. Wow. But what if I told you he's spending way more on his kids? The average parent spends about 300k total on their kid, but Elon's kids definitely aren't average. They go to private school and fly in his private jet for vacations, which racks up to about 1 million per year. So this man is at least spending 24 million on just one kid. But dude has nine kids, making his total. Elon Musk has nine fucking children. I thought he had like two. He has nine children? No. Elon Musk, how many kids? It says he has seven on... Oh, no, it's, now it says he has 11. He's fathered 11 children with three different women. What? Strider Azor... Zay A Zai, Axa Dark Sidereal, Techno, Griffin Xavier Nevada, Kai Saxon Damien. Where's like a John or like a Mark, you know? Maybe a Larry. Throw a Larry into the mix. Right? Instead, we're hopping with a Zay Zay 33. Name my, I'm about to just name my kid a number. 52. Total check, around 216 million. Now, that's expensive, but he probably doesn't care when he's buying multiple jets. Elon couldn't stand just owning one jet, so of course, he bought five of them. His first jet cost him 26 mil, and it's got your typical recliner seats, dining room, and bedroom. But he bought this before he became a billionaire. So once he leveled up from M's to B's, he couldn't be seen flying around the same tiny jet as Taylor Swift. Nah, he saw billionaire Mark Cuban own a Gulfstream G550 and had to one-up him. So he caught two of them for 62 million each. But it wasn't long until a- Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I watch these videos. I watch these videos and we're all just sitting here. And I know it might be like a gasp. Bro, 62. He has two private jets that are worth more then the majority of the people in the world will make in their life times 30. The average American's net worth, meaning all of their assets and money accumulated when they die, is $1.9 million. That times 30 is he bought, he bought that twice for just jets. Like, 62 mil people are like, oh, that's shit, oh, that's crazy. 
Dude, I feel like you don't realize how crazy $62 million is. A newer model came out, the G650, and the difference between them is insane. On the G650, there's one extra seat. That's it. That's the only difference. Just like how you buy the new iPhone, that's the same as your old one. Billionaires do that, but with private jets. Except instead of paying $1,000, billionaires drop 75 million. And recently, Elon dropped another 75 mil on the newest Gulfstream, the G700. Can you guess what the difference between those are? I'll give you a hint. You, you know how they keep making the iPhones a little bigger each year? Yep, they pretty much just made the plane a little bit bigger. <clears throat> when you're worth over 200 billion though, spending 300 mil on jets ain't a big deal. But Elon's biggest purchase might be the biggest flex ever. Because for normal people, when they don't- Let me look that up. 62 million. Elon Musk, hold up, let's do some math here. Elon Musk is worth 62 billion dollars. Or not, what, how much is he worth? 200 billion. He spent 62 million. I gotta turn my phone. You know how you know how you know you're rich when I'm doing the calculator shit and when I'm factoring his net worth, I have to turn my fucking phone sideways. Uh, 62 million divided by 200 billion. Um, it is 0. .0003. So that would be 0.03 percent of his net worth. Okay, let me just do that times. What does the average American make? Average or median income, median American income. That's household. Oh, let me just look up average American. Average American is inflated. It's going to be like 52. 32,000, 39,000. Okay, so that times 39K. Okay, Elon Musk buying, if, if, we're, if we're saying his net worth is equivalent to the amount of money he has... Wait, no. How much does he make a year? I'm doing this wrong. Elon Musk annual salary. Or let me just look up average American net worth. Average American's net worth is a million dollars. Okay. Chat, I'm sorry this is taking me forever. I really want to know this. Just so I can relate this in my own mind. So everybody shut the fuck up while I do math. Okay, times 10637. Okay, uh, Elon Musk buying a $62 million private jet is the equivalent of an average American spending $329. I don't like how an app works, they just uninstall it. But when you're Elon Musk, you just straight up buy it. Because when Twitter was censoring tons of people, Elon decided to take a little break from getting us to Mars to make sure we still got free speech. And even though Twitter was losing billions of dollars, he bought it anyway. I mean, imagine having so much money. Somebody said thanks for absolutely nothing. Ernie, Ernie. I hit myself in the eye there. That hurt. I was trying to cave it. I was trying to just act like I didn't hit myself there, but I hit myself in the eye there. That hurt like a bitch. Uh, fuck, dude. I just, like, slapped myself in the eye. Mm. I timed you out for 24 hours. I didn't ban you. Brood and Fivehead for the sub. Gabe and Rick for the sub. Turtle for the three. Hey, Joe. I had a first stream today. Two to three viewers. Do you have any uh, advice on how to expand? Clip content, post on short term, transfer to long term. Hawk for the sub. Brandello for the three. Man's car he found uh, looks just like a flying car from Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Dude, my eyes are getting red. You don't even care if you lose Billy. 45 minutes, three more videos. Uh, Yeah, we'll probably end up getting through like two of them. If we're being real. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get through that. Let me just fucking beep boop bonk. Because he paid way more than he needed to, literally for the memes. One of Elon's favorite memes is 420, so he decided to buy all the shares of the company at 5420. Dude must have been high when he greeted that deal. It's been estimated that he overpaid by 19 billion dollars, bringing the total to purchase this failing bird app to 44 billion. But it looks like Elon's trying to turn the app around. Because recently, Elon rebranded Twitter to X, and he said he's going to turn it into a super app. And if it's anything like I don't think, has Twitter noticeably changed at all? Oh, sorry, X. 
Has X noticeably changed at all? From a day-to-day -day use, personally, I have not noticed fucking anything. I was going to say, if anything, the tweets that I see are fucking more annoying. Right? Like, more annoying. Like China's WeChat? X could be worth upwards of $80 billion. $80 Everyone billion knows dollars. that. All right, hold up. That's for another day. We'll watch that video Sunday. Uh, Gerber for the three says, Joe, you got it. I got what? Tiz for the sub. Masha for the three. Elon has a kid named after his favorite jet plane. Five head for the sub. I got what? What do you mean I got it? Got what? They used to limit how many videos you had on your For You page. I remember that was like a glitch. Like you could only read like 10 tweets a day or some shit. All right, chat. Count me down 30 seconds. I got to piss again. Hold up. We're back. Uh, general for the sub. Fuck. Chat, we're going to be live for another, like, five hours. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, uh, Mr. Krabs. You remember that one episode where he's like, day 53, day 53. I'm going to be like, at the end. Yeah, I'm letting y'all know. I'm going to start drinking when we watch this MMA fight. <laughs> I'm going to start I'm going to start playing a place at wagers and shit. Let's go. Hiring actors not to laugh at a comedy show. I skipped this first part here because it's just them talking. I think this is the actual prank. All right, so Simon, you own a comedy club, Kings of Comedy. This is correct. Best comedy club in Australia. Pretty much. But our mate Lewis Spears, yeah. he played a show there a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And you helped us prank him. Yeah. Originally, the idea was to get everyone to laugh at different points. Correct. We thought that it would be smarter to maybe get everyone to not laugh whatsoever. Yeah, and true. You... That's fucked. I think one of the most embarrassing things you could humanly go through is bombing at a comedy club like if imagine you set up for weeks months maybe you prepare like a fucking like a whole set of like an hour right and you get everyone to sit there and just stone cold i i feel like first joke that didn't hit i'd walk off it's easier for me to have misses because you guys aren't physically in front of me. <laughs> like, if we, if I, if I was sitting here and I had four thousand people in front of me and I made a joke that no one laughed at, I think I'd just quit. I think I'd just immediately just be like, "All right, I'm done. This isn't for me. This isn't for me." If I made the skin, yeah, the skin of the goose joke, it would have been done. I would have been like, "Oh fuck, man. I don't. I, don't, I think it's over." We're too keen on this idea. No, right? not at all. Why? Because I'm a comedian and I know what it's like to die. Wait, <laughs> it's you're a, a comedian? Yeah, look. I've never bit. noticed. So. Yeah, I don't <laughs> in this guy. <laughs> Shit. All right, Shaggers, enjoy the video. You'll be able to see how much of a rubber arm this bloke has. He wasn't that hard to do.
That's an Australian term that I've never heard before. What does that mean? Anybody know what the, what is that? Floating. The local Australian in chat. What does that mean? Do you know? I don't want to say it because I feel like that might be something fucked up. What, is, what does that mean? It's like bros. I'm Googling that. Easily persuaded or peer pressured into nefarious acts. That's what it means to have a rubber arm. So it's easy to make someone do something. Hey, are we oh, good? Hey, brother. Oh, hey, brother. oh, mate, we've been thinking. Very <laughs> I'm about to start telling people that. I'm about to start using that. Yeah, yeah, mate, you got a rubber arm. <laughs> you got a, you got a rubber arm. What the fuck? What do you, what do you fucking mean? I have a rubber arm? Yeah, it's just easy to, it's easy. It's easy to peer pressure you to do to do nefarious acts. Yes, like two savage. The first like two minutes, people were pissing themselves, yeah. then just dead. No one laughed. People yeah. are tired. Yeah, yeah, I reckon yeah. you guys won't have me on this. On yeah, this is a good idea. Cheers. Yeah. He's just coming back. It could kill his career. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like four so tickets are being sold out as well, so it's gonna be full house. Where do we go? A sold out show, no laughs. Oh my god. How do we come in without the line up on the No, because that's for the burgers and babes upstairs. Do we go to burger and babes? No, no, you can. Oh, ways it for girls. Yeah, no, guys. Burgers and babes. So for gays? No, no, you see girls. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm so lost. They used to be guys and now they're girls? No, 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 no. Burgers and babes or babes? Babes. Do they have their out? Yeah. So you know who we. Dealing with you. We're doing a little prank on Lewis tonight. Oh, I get it because he's the prank guy, so you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Right. Is that maybe maybe one joke in yeah. there? See, I was like, we should get him laughing all of these guys. Like, let's just dead air. Wait, like, what? The whole laughing, crowd's the whole not gonna crowd. laugh for his whole set. His whole set. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be funny. <laughs> Are you really gonna be able to do that though? Like, if somebody paid you not to laugh, do you think you would be able to not laugh? Like, if something was funny, I'm still going to chuckle. It's just your guttural reaction. I would have to zone out. Like, if you if you pay me to go to a comedy show and I have to pay attention and also not laugh, I think they're all just going to be, like, glazed over. Just because if I, if I hear something funny, I'm going to chuckle. <laughs> We're gonna have to tell people when you sit down and just go, this guy here, when he comes on, a two jokes two laughs, in, and then nothing. Then you're putting a lot of effort on the audience. Maybe no one laughs the whole time. No one laughs because. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Alyssa right here. How long are you giving him? 12 minutes. <laughs> That's but a long time. 12 minutes. Yo, that'd be like fucking hell up there, dude. I'd start ripping shit off. I'd, oh my god. I would, start, I would start fucking ripping my shirt off, fucking tearing the curtains down. 12 minutes, no laughs. Just joke after joke, miss, 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 miss. I don't know. That's going to be a Oh my brutal. god, I thought like an hour was a long time. Because those sets are 90 minutes? That's if you have your own show. I think if you're at just a comedy club, your set's only like 10, 15 minutes. This is promo for the room. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Eight minutes of a crowd not enjoying the sound. Hey, gosh, that'd be a good promotional video. Come down to the yeah, Kings of Comedy. Yeah, obviously. What if he does all right? Are you going to tell him you did this? Because then what we have him walk back on stage like a gladiator or some shit. <laughs> like, no one's laughing. You can't. He's yeah. uh, he was looking one of the whole time. It's like, fing all the time. It's going to be so painful to watch. Holy shit. This is how a Lewis Spears show usually goes. You see how he didn't ask about her pussy? <laughs> it was so easy. I didn't even have to try. Oh my god, so he's normally used to everybody laughing. See, he hasn't really failed much. I'm sure it's lovely. I don't need to know. Oh. He's going to start having an existential crisis up on stage. Hey, everyone, quickly, quickly. So that comedian isn't here. I told him to come late tonight. Is everyone on board with this? So last one he says his name, which is Lewis Spears. And then after that, nothing. <laughs> you guys ready for a good night? One yeah. of them's gonna laugh. So, so let's do it. Let's get you down, welcome to the one the other. Mr. Lewis Spears, come on, look at this. Come on, come on. All right, make some noise. Okay. My name's Lewis Spears, and I'm freakishly tall. I'm six foot eight which is exactly two metres tall, which is about this far away from being a disability, if I'm being honest. 
it's uh it's 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 trouble you know oh my god i'm not gonna be able to watch this chat i don't think i could watch this i would have to get up and leave if i ever went to a comedy show and somebody bombed i'd leave i don't think i'd be able to get through it i would give a pity chuckle i'm being i'm being so serious if i went to a comedy show and the guy i was watching was bombing i would fake laugh for him i i i don't even care if i didn't think it was funny i would just the second the next joke i'd be like <laughs> I'd be the only guy that laughs. I don't even care. I just, I, I just, I can't do that to him. Fuck. I get two questions. You know what the first question is. You're so tall. You're so tall. Do you play basketball? Oh. Yeah. I want to look at these people and go, do I look like an athlete to you? I've got the lower half of a wounded flamingo. It's like, yeah, I'm tall, but I'm not also black. This is very strange. I feel like we should be all taking X and hooking up with each other and we'll get on Simon's level. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, and it makes the joke so much worse when you hear nothing. Oh. And he's trying to save it right there. He just tried to hit it. He said, oh, this is weird, right? And then he diverts. He tries to change it up, saves it, doesn't work still misses you see people smiling though you can tell people want to laugh but they're holding it back i don't know if anyone saw this it happened uh happened last year i told some jokes about he tried to he tried to get him to suck his tongue do you guys see this no? Well, he had a little 12-year-old boy in his lap, and he stuck his tongue out, and he said, suck my tongue. Oh my and I God. thought, that's a little bit weird for the Dalai Lama to do. Not even the Pope does that. I mean, he does, but he, you know, he doesn't do it on camera at a press conference. Look at this, look at this guy. <laughs> Trying to keep it in. He's just sitting there in the fucking front row. Just... <laughs> Yo, he has to notice. I would point at that guy and be like, take your hand out of your fucking mouth, dude. Or still do it underneath the castle that they have. I feel like cringe if you have. Oh. I told a few jokes about this. I said, the, I did my research, you know, the Dalai Lama, he's like the Buddhist version of Jesus Christ, except instead of having holes in his hands, he tries to put his kid hands in kids' holes. I don't know what the f happened, but I got up here and I feel like everyone agreed, all right, let's just sit in silence for this. What the f is going on? All right. I He has to know something's off because if you were bombing this bad, somebody in the crowd would say something. Am I wrong? Like, if you, if you were actually bombing this hard, somebody would be like, get off, right? Fuck, dude. Like, they're sitting here and no, they're not even responding to what he's asking. But no, look, all right. We'll go back to the tall stuff. We'll try that. I feel like I tried the Buddha stuff and you guys were like, I reckon I would join... The protest. Yeah. You would? <laughs> I am tall, alright, but I don't I don't play basketball, okay? Because I'm not I'm not black. You know, it's give me a good backup plan though. If comedy doesn't pan out, which it's not right now, if comedy doesn't go well, I'll just get a black girl pregnant. Oh I actually wouldn't laugh at that. I feel like I feel like I'm sitting here like some of his jokes are funny, I would just I'd be like an air Air ball, sh shoot it a miss. Swing it a fucking whiff. Think about that shit, that's like an investment. Cause potentially I've got the, 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 next, the next LeBron James just brewing in my balls. All I need is the other half of that recipe. Man, you fuck hate me, huh? <laughs> This is maybe <laughs> I'm laughing now. the worst I've bombed ever. I was doing this stuff in Perth and they were loving it. To be fair to Perth, they are very racist people. And disabled. 
Other people will ask me if I also have a large penis. I actually feel really bad. Oh my god. Yo, I am like, so, I just, I, I feel like this is one of the, have, you know how there's like a few things in life where you don't want to watch it and it's so uncomfortable, but you, you're so locked into it. Like, it's making me cringe, but I can't not watch it. Like, I have, it, like, it's just, it, dude, it, somebody said he's just bad. Uh, some of his earlier jokes were honestly laughable. Can we tell him? And the answer is, I'm calling the police, because that's, I mean, that's just sexual harassment. Like, I would never, I would never ask a woman about the size, width, and depth of her vagina. No. It's like, it's not, like, you seem like a lovely lady. What's oh, your name? no. No, no, no. Miss Sally. Sally. What do you do for work, Sally? Shit. Excellent. Good on you. You see how I didn't ask about her pussy? Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. Sally loved that. That was a good transition there. That was a good transition. We thought he was going to do it, then he throws his curveball and he doesn't do it. Oh, okay. That one. The rest of you were like, no, nah, we hate this guy. Is it the braces? <laughs> I'm going to blame the braces so I don't <laughs> myself tonight. Maybe I'll just do the rest of the set as a conversation between me and Sally because she's f loving it. I don't know what these people's problems are. She's aren't. holding her nose so she doesn't laugh. Because she's f loving it. I don't know what these people's problems are. You know what's really f is after this set, I somehow have to sum up the courage to invoice the guy running the gig. Free drink, Free drink card. That's a good one. I'll just get a Coke and go home and f myself, all right? You guys have been lovely. I've been Lewis Spears. I tried my best. Have a good night. Can we get it back up here? Yeah. He's doing a great job because they're holding in laughs. No, they would have laughed. They would have laughed if he did that. And other people laughing makes you laugh. That's the weird thing about comedy is if you just watch a stand-up comedian alone and there's no laugh. Like, say you're alone with a comedian and he's just telling his jokes. It's not that funny. But when you're in a room of people and one person laughs, it prompts other people to laugh. And so you have a better time. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> you fucking bro! No, no, all of you, bro. That was us, fucker. Oh my god, I am so upset. You know what's really bad about this? My last night in Perth, I actually really bombed. <laughs> so I was doing the same jokes, and it was the actual silence, and then I felt. Awful, got off stage, and no one came out and was like, Oh, we got ya, I just suck. Ah! He did the same set the night before and said, I'ma run this again when it did terrible. I would not want to try it again. Cassetta, Fred for the sub, Googogly for the three. How many comedians, imagine how many comedians just aren't funny, uh, but people pity laugh anyways. I feel like that's not, I mean, maybe like some comedians at like local comedy clubs like this, but I don't think you're going to get very far if people don't actually think you're funny. Imagine if that was like a weird, like a weird hypnotic trick. Like say, like what if Kevin Hart really isn't funny, but Throughout his career, there's like a bunch of people that pity laughed and caused other people to laugh. And so people perceive his jokes as funny. And then people pay to go to see him and end up just pity laughing around. Matt Reif isn't funny. Matt Reif uh, had a fan base because he's attractive. I don't think Matt Reif is very funny. Floating for the three said, chat, stop calling me a fake Australian. I thought Joe was asking about... I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't know what that word means. Sam for the, uh, for the three. Uh, streams are always dubs. I know it's a lot, but I wanted to show my appreciation. Don't say it's not a lot, man. I think you, uh, thank you for the fucking dono, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you for the 316. Illegal in general for the sub, uh, Gerber for the three. Fred for the sub, Cassetta for the sub, Hawk for the three. Uh, wanted to give something to my favorite streamer. Keep it the great work. Uh, definitely for the three. I want to tell you a word I heard the other day. Uh, it's a short coffee break, but it's so much more like taking a moment to enjoy simple things in life. Fika, Drew for the three. 
You don't have to read this out loud if you don't want to. You influenced me to start streaming a year ago. Never thought I would do something like this. You made a really big impact on my life and lifestyle from getting me onto philosophy to now streaming. I would like to know. I would like you to know that you are always welcome to my stream. You can hop in whenever. Dub, dude, thank you for the fucking nice message, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Amy Schumer's not funny. Yeah, no, Amy Schumer really just isn't funny. But there are people that find her funny. You bastards, that's so funny. <laughs> Didn't I just say, I feel like you've all agreed to not lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was one particular sentence that I really stumbled and stuttered off. It, 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 it. Got the, 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 the next, oh my God. I think after that, that's when I started talking about myself. I'm still gonna invoice you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, I'm still paying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta pay me more now, buddy. Put him through that shit. All right, next. Why vacations kind of sucked. Lock-in. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You know about vacations, right? Of course you do. Look at you, you lazy piece of shit. You take a vacation every day. Going to the Bahamas, going to Disney, going to your great aunt's beach house up in Maine. And let's be honest, you're taking advantage of her. She can barely walk. Everyone loves a vacation. Oh, joyous day. It's so great. Am I the only one who doesn't like vacations that much? Am I? Yeah. Definitely. I think vacations are sick. I will agree that vacations usually never meet the expectations you have. I think that looking forward to a vacation usually has more joy than the actual vacation. Like, if you plan a vacation six months in advance, the accumulated joy you have from thinking about what you're going to do on that vacation and planning what you're going to do on that vacation is more enjoyable than the actual vacation. I think the vacation itself obviously has a higher amount of joy in that singular day or days that you're there, but the the overall accumulation of the joy that you incrementally have is it just outweighs it. And so usually when you're out of vacation and you look back at it, you're like, damn, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be, but it was still fun. Insane. Perhaps I would be as so bold to say that I think six month planning. Well, I'm not saying it's like every day you're just planning it. But like a lot of people plan a uh, vacation six, eight months in advance, and then they think about it once a week. They're a little bit more stressful than just staying at home and just eating snacks in your bed. You know, what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna be the brave one, and I'm gonna say what I've been thinking for way too long. So if you're gonna go on vacation, you gotta travel. And if you don't travel, then you didn't really go on vacation, you just went like 500 feet that way, and then that you just went 500 feet that way. That's not a vacation. But when we're talking about real travel, um, it sucks so much that it almost ruins the entire vacation. I mean, first off, it takes so goddamn long. Nah, it the travel to the vacation, I'm like, it feels long as fuck, but you're hype, right? You got a 3 a.m. flight, but you don't got to you don't give a fuck, right? I I slept one hour and I got to drive two hours to the airport and then fly three connecting flights for nine hours. But the whole time I'm just like, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Right. And, and then you're fucking hype. The flight back. Oh, my God. It is horrendous. Just knowing, like, the last... Dude, this is what sucks. The last day of a vacation and the flight home day blows. Blows. If you're going to go on a vacation... Say you go on a five-day trip, right? Travel day, travel day. Fun, fun, ass, ass. Travel day's mid, right? Then you have two... If you have a five-day vacation and two of those are travel days, the second and the third day are fun. The third day, you're going to start thinking about how you only have one more day. The last day, all you're going to think about how, is how it's your last day. And then the day you go home, it's going to suck. It takes up so much time. So you book the flight. It's four hours long. That's not What's so on your hand? It's calluses. You know, from lifting weights, throwing rocks around bad right you can pretend to be an ipad kid for four hours watch a movie or two but you're not doing the correct Bare gloves that's cringe as fuck whenever i see somebody in the gym wearing weightlifting gloves i go <sighs> man you gotta add it all up first of all depending where you live and traffic you gotta factor in the time it's gonna take to get to the airport which is at least one to two hours normally unless you live next to the airport in which case you probably can't afford to go to the airport and then there's one to three hours of you just arriving at the airport early Trying to click on a chatter's name to ban him. Brother, I clicked on the wrong account. Hold up. Here it is. 
Here it is. Time him out. Early because you have one person in your group that's just a psychopath that thinks the world's gonna end if you don't get there before sunrise. Then you have to factor in all the delays your flight is gonna have because I don't know what's going on globally, but in America. Yeah, I remember when I was really young and I went on a trip with my grandparents. We pulled up to the airport like five hours before the flight. The flight was at nine. We were there at four. And I'm just sitting in my chair like, bro, what am I going to take a lap around the fucking Burger King again? You do not, airports are so fucking boring. And then you have a friend that's just like, oh no, we could just show up like an hour before the flight. Those motherfuckers miss flights. I'll show up early. I'm not going to show up that early. Farron for the sad. America, airlines have just given up and they're passing the savings on to us. And then once you get off the plane, you get- I will show up early enough to a flight to where I, right when I pass security, I have 30 minutes to an hour and a half before the flight takes off. Depending on what airport I'm at, international versus domestic, is, it changes when you show up and how bad security is. But say I have a nine, say your flight takes off at nine. When are you getting to the airport, chat? Let's do a fucking quiz here. Your flight takes off at 9. What are you pulling up? Getting out of the car, going to the airport. It's not that simple of a question, chat. You should have responded to me, well, am I driving? Is somebody else dropping me off or am I driving to long-term parking? Or am I going to short-term parking? And then am I catching the bus to the airport terminal? And then how's that working? Am I doing a baggage drop? Do I have baggage? Do I have do I just have a carry-on? Am I doing my baggage check? Have I already checked into my flight? You should have hit me up with a, a fucking follow-up question, chat. You guys have never traveled before. Uh, this is the this is the blanketed question. If you're going long-term parking, right? You get the your your flight takes off at 9 a.m. You're pulling up to the airport. 9 a.m. It's gonna board at 8:30. You want to be there an hour before it boards. So you actually want to be there at 7:30 past security. So realistically, you want to get there at probably six. Because if it goes, if it if a flight takes off at nine, it's boarding at eight thirty. You want to be there an hour before it birds boards. That means it's there at seven thirty. Seven thirty, you have an hour and a half between when you actually get in there and when you like from baggage check to security, right? Because it might take an hour and a half. You don't know how long the line is. So if you get dropped off, then you're pulling up there at six thirty. If you're going to long term parking, you're pulling up there at five forty five six. Boom, might be crowded. You don't know if it's a holiday weekend. You're showing up even earlier. Like two to three hours of one trying to find the goddamn exit to the airport because they make them. So we got 18 minutes. Oh, I know. I know. Mazes for some reason. And I then don't know if the fights start at eight. I just know the event starts. Actually, I can test. Let's do a little check here. Friday of every month is fight night. No, it's still the, uh, still the old same stuff. Baggage claim is always a nightmare. And if you flew internationally, good luck, because I got to check your passport and your luggage at customs. And I've never done that. I've never left the good red, white, and blue United States, but I've heard it's a nightmare. It sucks. And all the hidden fees that airports like to jam down your throat when you're not looking. If you're too far for an Uber and you can't find someone to drive you, you have to- Oh, it's still Ramadan. Chat, I'm eating on stream. But isn't that after sunset? I mean, it really depends where you are. I'm sorry for the people that are celebrating Ramadan. I am going to be eating on stream. I, I didn't want- I, I remember talking about that when it started. Fuck. Park your car at the airport, and I would suggest just selling your car to the airport once you get there. Because that's more financially viable than using the five-star hotel they pretend that parking lot is for your car. Why did I say hotel like that? Or when you're checking bags and your luggage it's is like- It's after sunset. I know it's after sunset, and for most people, by the time I'm eating, it'll be after sunset. But that's also if you're in my time zone, right? Like, if you're three hours be behind me, then it's- you're- you're still gonna be- you still can't eat yet. 1.0% over a hay penny- Christian for the sub. The real and fair for the sub. It's worth of weight. You gotta pay like 90 bucks. Is that what someone's getting on the plane next to me that's 300 pounds? Nothing against them, but is that more than the luggage that's gonna take the plane down? Is that worth it? That is true. You have a weight limit on your bag, but they don't even ask you how much you weigh when you get on a plane. Like, what if, what if like fucking 50 linebackers just pulled up to one flight? The plane would weigh too much. They'd tell people to fucking get off. 
outfits. They paid the same they price. They factor that in. Yeah, they probably have a variable, like how what the average person weighs, and then they have a variable of how much or, or, or little it's going to be. Some their goddamn ticket. And if your airline lets you pick the seat, they're going to make you pay out the ass for that. Oh, you're on your honeymoon with your husband? That sucks, because you're going to be sitting 90 seats away from him, unless you want to awkwardly ask a stranger to switch seats with you, in which case, you're just an asshole at that point. And I haven't even talked about security checks. I haven't even talked about TSA. They're so mean. They're so mean to me, and I get so scared. Every time they make me- Bro, and I, yo, the last time I was at TSA, they were like, stand by your bag. Make sure your bag goes through the thing. I'm standing there for a fucking grip, chat. 15 minutes. I'm standing by my shit, waiting for it to go through that fucking little, that little warp hole where the guy goes, beep, 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 and x-rays my bag to see if there's a bomb in it. Anyways, I'm standing there waiting for my shit to fucking go through. And at one point, it's been 15 minutes. She's like, I start pushing it. She, like, right when, right when it opens up, I start pushing it because I'm like, okay, now, you know, space is opened up. I can get it to go through and then go walk through the security thing where I have to go like this. And then they pat down my nutsack because they think I have a fucking pipe bomb in my ass. Anyways. I start pushing it, right, 15 minutes after I'm fucking standing there because they finally get it going through. I don't know if they had problems with other people's bags, but it took forever. I start pushing it. She goes, sir, you don't need to push it. Just go in the security line. And she, like, says it like that. And I immediately go, you literally told me. You literally told me that I had to do that. And I walk away before she even responds. I was like, that, that, I was like, that is just fucking stupid. Brendello for the three. They do that? It depends. Depending on where, where you are, right? Like, whenever I stand up for that shit, it's like one in three, I would say one in three times they, they pat me down in a, in an area, right? They don't actually pat your nutsack. They go, all right, sir, I'm going to use the, they're wearing those stupid blue medical gloves. All right, sir, I'm going to use the back of my hands. And then they go like this over your nuts. <laughs> over your inner thighs. All right, sir, I'm going to be using the back of my hands here. Over my nuts, right? That's what they do. Or my armpit or some shit. That will just go right into the armpit, though. They stand in that weird thing, and then they, they scan my naked body. I'm thinking every the time I laugh, too. They've done that like five times. Just in my general region. And every time I'm just giggling, bro. They're like, I'm going to use the back of my hand. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yep. And then they just start. They just start. I'm like, what are they going to do? He, see, he feels something sharp. I'm like, what the fuck's going to happen? Whole time did I put a razor in my pocket? Did I shave this morning and forget? Am I pretending to be a terrorist right now? Did I put my laptop in my bag this morning or was that a pound of cocaine? That I, I could see myself doing that. And when I'm on the plane, I have anxiety and I convince myself it's gonna crash every single time. I mean, the statistic odds of surviving a plane crash are like 87%. It's really more safe than driving, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that now. I'm fine once we're in the air, but- With the odds of surviving a plane crash is definitely not 87%. What? When it does crash? Odds of surviving a plane crash. That can't be true. Airplane accidents have a 95.7 survivability rate. What? What? They also have a little image here of the deadliest seats on airplanes. Apparently it's in the middle, on the aisle. Damn, sitting back near the toilet. 28% fatality rate. Seat 30A. Any takers? Any takers? Landing and taking off, the, 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 the sounds that plane makes are unholy. You hear the landing gear come out and it sounds like lawn furniture. Just, ah, I don't want to. Oh my God. Fix that. Get to Dude, I said that the last plane I went on. It was going... The entire time we took off and landed. And that shit freaked me the fuck out. The whole time. It was the only time I've ever heard that noise. On a plane. And I've been on 100 fucking planes. 200 fucking planes. I will say, every time I land, though, I hold my breath. I'm not, I'm not somebody that needs to, like, grip my seat or anything. But I go... And I count. And I go, okay, five, and I count, and it's like five seconds in, I'm like, all right, if the plane loses control now, we're going slow enough to where I won't die. Anybody else do that? I do that every time. We land the plane, 
He's landing in the plane. We hit the we hit the ground. I'm like, all right, if we spin out right now, I'm still dying. 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 All right, now we're slow enough to where if we crash, I'll probably live. And then I and then I breathe out. And then I'm chilling. Put a pic of you uh, with Biggie Cheese while you're eating. I'm not going to do that. Chris for the sub. Get some WD-40 in there. For some reason, Saturn a lot of people like to go to places with beaches. I don't like beaches. Beaches are awful. You know what really sucks? Sand. You know what's 90% of a goddamn beach? Sand. Well, I guess mathematically it's mostly water. But that's... Honestly, some beaches suck more than others based on what the sand's like. Sand texture matters on how it, how nice the experience of a beach is. If it's got that hard ass fucking brown sand that's just like a rock, that shit sucks. But if you got like some nice fucking mushy sand and then by the water it's more solid, oh yeah, that's enjoyable. You you seem you more touch shelly, more shellish sand. It's mostly sand. It's the herpes of the natural world, not like you dirt. Xmas for the three. Just came, uh, hi, how I came from vids, and this is all I have, sorry. Well, don't say sorry, think of it the three. Get it on ya, it's don't not really going- really know what you're trying to say. Going away, it's not going away. Any pair of shoes you wear to the beach are ruined forever. You will never, ever, ever get the same- Well, here's your problem, Big Tug. Why are you wearing shoes to the fucking beach, pal? It's a fucking beach, right? Big Tug, I don't want to say this, but you kind of look like the type of guy that, wear, that would wear socks in the water. Love you, man. I really enjoy your videos. But maybe that's maybe that's kind of fucking up your beach experience, right? I think you're kind of walking around in fucking wet socks. Probably probably makes it a bit more unenjoyable. You know, maybe if you pulled up to the beach and flops, and the second you get on the beach, you take your shoes off. Stand out of those goddamn shoes. Do you like walking around on a thousand grit sandpaper? Well, good for you, because you just got a brand new pair of sandpaper shoes. And there is way too much equipment that goes along with going to the beach. People who climb mountains use less equipment than beachgoers. Towels, umbrellas, a million types of sunscreen if you're white and pasty like- The sand burns sometimes? Yeah, bitch, and you know what you do with that? You run, right? You run. You run. When the sand hurts, you go, ha, 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 ha. And you get to the you get to the nicer sand, right? Me, bug spray, extra clothing, chairs, little digging tools for the. Or you just eat that shit. There's been times where I'm like, I don't give a fuck, and it's such a long walk that the sand burns, and I just let it fucking singe the bottoms of my fucking feet, and then I just have no, I don't even feel pain. I just am pain at the end of that children and the boys and the clothing gets inappropriate i don't want to be a prude and i'm not talking about women i'm not i'm talking about the 50 year old fellas that want to let it all hang out and i to prove it i can't put this picture up i can't because it's graphic what you old men wear to the beach you italian old men one of the worst parts of vacation is the fact that other people also go on vacation. Doesn't matter where you go, doesn't matter how much money you spend, there's always gonna be some asshole standing next to you tanking your mood because they're such a weirdo. There's always that couple that hate each other and it makes it weird to be around them. And you watch them at dinners and they don't even talk and it's it's hard to look away from and that ru it ruins it, dude. If you don't want to be happy, don't be happy near me. Ha yeah, when me and Brooke went on spring break, there was this couple at this one restaurant and we were there for an hour and a half easy and they were there when we got there and me and her are facing each other and they're like over in another corner but i see them in my peripherals i did not see them talk one fucking time they ate their dinner drank they would talk to the waiter and then they would maybe say like oh oh how's your food right i couldn't hear them because it was loud but like I would, wa I would kind of see them in the in, in in the corner of my eyes, and I was like, dude, they're not talking, they're not talking at all. Probably old people. Nah, they were like thirty five. They're probably not together anymore. How about tour guides that aren't into it anymore? That's a bummer. I paid you money, good money, and you're phoning it in. Really, you're barely even looking at another another issue here, Big Tug. Why the fuck are you going on a goddamn tour? Tour guides. If you're one of those people that goes on like that stupid duck boat in like New York or Philly and it takes you into the water and it like killed people one time like yo I went on that shit one time and it was so stupid most tours it's like and here we're passing the municipal building ooh wow ooh wow who cares why the fuck I, 
I'll just go explore. Pay some random guy to show me around. Tours suck. White for the sub, your Quan for the three. Have to go to a 10-hour shift. Hope it goes well. V2 for the five. Said at Dr. Vini. What? V2 for the thousand, but he said my finger slipped. Uh, the call for the four. How many uh, countries have you been to? Probably like four. Xmas for the three. Um, what do you mean I got you, brother, to this person? at the monuments that we're supposed to be talking about. Put a little pep in the step. No idea what you're trying to say. Tell me a little joke every once in a while. You know, I don't want to be bored to tears. And you're telling me about some pretty cool stuff. I don't know what this is. Could you enlighten me a little bit? And then on the opposite side of that, we have tour guides that are way too into it, which are a different problem. I mean, obviously, clearly, I don't know what I want, but I, there's a limit. There's a good middle ground that we need here. I don't want to hear a bad joke every point of interest. I don't want to have to muster up a fake laugh every two minutes in this hour and a half trip we have. I mean, are you a tour guide or are you an open mic comedian working on his type five? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to pry, but I, you know, find the middle ground. Or the people who won't stop taking photos. What are you doing? I would say you get five to ten photos every vacation, and that is pushing it. That is pushing I would say three. And I would say three group photos. I, dude, when I'm on a vacation with a group of people, and we're walking, and then somebody's like, oh, let's take a photo. Ugh. This is my reaction. Oh, let's take a photo. Ugh. Oh, one more. Oh! <laughs> like, fuck! I don't want to... Dude, I, I'll take a million photos of other shit, right? Like a turtle or the beach or some shit or a selfie, right? But like group photos, three. Dude, I could, I, I could have one group photo and we're good. Right, I could be blinking. I, I could, this could be me in the photo. Don't give a fuck. We're good. That was a great photo. That was a great photo. No, it's good. I don't even need to see it. Let's go. Pushing my limit. It's not the fact that you're taking pictures Bro's of- a negative Nancy? Bro, that's not even negative Nancy. That's motherfuckers taking two hours to take a fucking picture. I want to enjoy the vacation, not take pictures. Look back at it. Oh, that trip was so fun. We took so many photos. That wasn't fun family or whatever the hell it's people who take pictures of shit that no one will look at in a million years taking pictures of like a famous fountain you think you're now when now when my lovely girlfriend asks me to take pictures of her i i i happily oblige that's different she's gonna do better than a google image search probably not taking pictures of every meal you eat i mean vacation is 90 percent when we're pushing it you know we're almost late to the dinner oh, five more pictures okay all right let's go eating food and once again you're never gonna look at these pictures again i see people go to aquariums and take pictures of the fish what do you get out of that are you gonna go home and show people pictures of fish you think they're gonna give an iota of a shit and also children any child any child like i said earlier vacations are mostly about eating food and anytime someone comes back from a vacation they always talk about how good the food was so i just want to rip on national dishes and uh, probably get a lot of people angry at me, but it's, it's my video, fuck you. So Italy, you guys got the bolognese, which is like that tomato and meat sauce, which is fine. But that's your national dish, dude. You got so much going on. You got this thing, or this thing. You know, you're gonna pick spaghetti and sauce. Kinda, kinda lame, dude. Spain has tapas, which is, uh, as an American, very frustrating. Don't make me share my food. Are you, what are you, afraid of real full plated portions? What are you doing? I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be dipping my shit in other people's shit. The French have pâte à feu. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I refuse to learn any French. Um, you're supposed to have good food, France. That's supposed to be your whole thing. You're gonna, you're gonna serve up peasant food? That's your main dish? That's probably historically offensive. That, that's... But I don't care. Mexico has mole, which is like a, 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 a kind of like a chocolate sauce you pour over meat. Uh, it looks very wet. That's pretty cool. I mean, I love Mexican food. I love Mexican. There's so much more going on. And I'm not talking about- I don't know. I don't like wet food. I've never- I don't want my food dry, but I don't want- I don't want my shit wet. I don't know- I don't know if that makes any sense. But like- ugh, Like- like just any meat, I don't want it really doused. I want- like- I like dry rubs. Like soup. Well, that's not- that's not wet. That's just soup, and I don't like soup.
I talk about. I'm okay, so maybe it is wet. Talking about like Taco Burritos Palace number two, like the authentic Mexican food. Yeah, like you a wet burrito. Like if I'm eating a burrito, I don't want to feel the juices, right? Like kind of seeping through the tortilla. That bothers me. What's going on, dude? Or or what would really bother me? I don't know what this sauce tastes like, right? But if it didn't mix well with rice, it that would bother me. I don't like when my food touches as much. I'm. It doesn't bother me if it touches if they mend well, but if my food touches and they're not pairing. Tamales? It's Canada's tacho. national dish yeah, poutine. We'll now we're video. getting into the good shit. That's what it's all about. Hold on, let me check. World title bout. Nah, it's still not on. You guys took cheese curds and gravy and put it on fries and said, hey, this is it. This is all we're going to do, so enjoy it. And we all, I want to be honest, we all really appreciate what you Wait did for us, sub, Canada. For the you didn't have to try. You did what you had to do. Germany has sauerbraten. Sauerbraten, marinated roast meat. Looks kind of like uh, German's grandmother's face. What's that one German dish where it's like a fish in a can and it's supposed to be really gross? Oh my god. I need to know. I need to know. Fish in a can. Gross. German. A Rügen fish? No, Sir Stroming. Sir Stroming. Ugh. I don't think I'd eat that. I'd use that as fish bait to catch other fish. That's Swedish? I don't even know what it is. Uh, I don't know if I wouldn't eat that. Then the England now. Sorry, sorry, chat. Fuck! National dish is fish and chips, which I enjoy, but then you put the mushy peas in there. You guys have to ruin everything. I am anti-British. I am a racist against the British. <laughs> So I didn't just want to talk about me this whole time. I did, but I wanted to do another segment about how other people's vacations also suck. So I reached out to my Instagram followers and asked them, you know, what's your go-to vacation spot? And let me talk shit about Bro, it. Bro, I'm already letting you know. I'm already letting you know, Myrtle, Myrtle. Yeah, me and my family go to Myrtle. Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. Oh my God, fuck out of here, Myrtle Beach, bitch. If you don't know what Myrtle Beach is, it's like where every motherfucker in the entire East Coast goes for vacation. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. I've never been there, but I know it can't be that good, bro. I know it can't be that good because every motherfucker's going there. So it's just so much. It's so much tourism, I bet. I want me and my family are going to Myrtle. And a lot of people said my mom. My mom's room. Shit like that. Uh, that wasn't cool, but I picked good ones. Joss says Atlanta because I like the Arby's there. All right, what? well, that's as American as it gets, traveling for fast food. There's Arby's everywhere. Is there one specific Arby's you like? They, it's homogeneous. Is that the word? They serve all the same food. Corey says Worcester, Massachusetts. You're being mean because that's where I'm from, obviously, and you're talking shit because no one likes that city, but they have some good things. They got, you know, uh, hot dog Annie's. That's not really in the city though, that's pretty far out. M. New Claw, Washington, what the hell is that? Oh my God, why is the crime rate so high? Why are you going there? It's, why is it so high? Ocean City, Maryland, okay, this place is a hellhole. This is where white trash people go to party. <laughs> it is, if you go to Ocean City, Maryland for your vacation, you should not be allowed to vote. Oh, my dad sent that response. Jeremiah <laughs> says, not sure if this is a vacation, but I like hanging out in a hot car by myself in the summer. What are you, a, a toddler? That's a bad joke. I shouldn't, I'm gonna take that out. Tony likes to go to Branson, Missouri. I don't think I would ever vacation in Missouri. I mean, you save up a little bit more money, all right? You don't have to go to the shittiest place on earth. Iris likes to go to Mystery Spot. What the hell is Mystery Spot? Russell says there's a water park with no hot tub or hot springs in the city named Lava Joy Springs. <laughs> you wanna go to a water park with a hot tub? That's 100% hot piss you're floating in. And then Kevin says the Clown Motel in- Yeah, Tana communal hot tub is not it. Napa, it's Nevada. Decent. All right, my fan base is mentally ill. Did I miss any other reasons for why vacations suck big wang? Let me know down in the comments below. And also tell me that you love me. Oh my God. No, I think you could have good vacation spots, but I will agree with a lot of the points that he made. That was a fucking W video by Big Tug. Everybody go follow Big Tug. Love that guy. Anyways, chat. I think it's time to lock in for CSN.